All right, hello, Kevin. Zing. Blaine, Snake, Bartish, how you guys doing? Looking forward to seeing the rockety rectum fire. Ice, ice, yeah. Ice and the terrible ice. You spilled your class with ice? Yeah, ice is good. <coughs> Alright, so most of you guys probably know, we had a rough time yesterday trying to climb this. We did get the vehicles up to this point, and... Yeah, we had quite a quite a few messes. A mess over here. Um, so after after the stream, I tried to see if it was possible. I did go up through here, which is you know we got we got to this point, and then we flipped over up here. I did get through here, but the turn was too sharp to turn this way to go up this road. So I had to go down here, and then this turn was too sharp. And so I had to go all the way down to here, and then turn around, and then go all the way back up. But it is possible. I wanted to see. <laughs> Did you die? Uh, no. So it is possible. But I thought maybe it's just going to be better to go through the trees here. And go up this way, but... I also tried an alternate route through these trees, and that one was a little bit... Mm, easier, but more dangerous. So... I think that's the plan. We're going to try and go through the trees here and then go up about here, I think it was. Maybe it was even this one. Um, it, yeah, it doesn't look very open, but we'll just have to kind of try and hope it works. Oh, I was going to skip some time. Um, I also... <coughs> excuse me. also ran back out with some fuel, so... Uh, which truck are we in? Here we go, the scout fuel carrier, let's fill up the Sentinel, the Acteon, and the Acteon's roof rack. So now all those all those three trucks are full. So that way at least I don't have to bore you guys with the total uh, total fuel run. But I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is run over and fuel up the step 310. Hopefully be able to get that one to deliver the metal beams, or no, service spare parts. It died pretty close to the fuel station, so that's the plan for now. Once it turns daytime, actually what time is it? Two in the morning? Okay, so actually it'll be, it'll be day here pretty soon. We won't even make it all the way over there. But it's, give, it's given us the soothing music. Have you developed a plan? Yeah, I tried Zing. I went onto my normal mode and I tried going up that hill with the same setup, and we I made it up there twice, so I know it's possible. It's just with the with the the three rules combined are what is absolutely killing me. So if I were to flip over and just recover and come back, then you know you get another shot at it, right? But we're trying to not recover, so I, anytime I flip, I have to go back and flip. It means I have to be super careful, and then. If I were to flip and just say, ah, screw it, we're not recovering, let me just buy a new vehicle, then, you know, we could do that. Or if we just bought chain tires, but it's it's the combination of the three that are absolutely killer. So, I'm I'm really hoping we can get it, because I, I do know it's possible, but, like I said, if I screw up one time bad enough to where I can't, I can't free the vehicle, I either have to just, like, leave the vehicle there as a... a a trophy for the map, or... I don't know. Yeah, break one of the rules, go buy a new truck, or buy chain tires, or something. I don't... I think... <coughs> Honestly, I think I'd probably buy a new truck before I bought chain tires, just to see... Because I know it's possible to get up without chains, right? Um, I didn't know they allowed bots in the stream. Blaine is a bot, right? Random name generator? No, Blaine is a real person, but he... Did, I don't know. He for the last couple of streams has been throwing out random names every now and then. I don't know what its what its purpose is. Isn't it Freeman or is it Friedman? Isn't it Morgan Freeman? I just looked at that and seen the, the D in there. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have followed the tracks. Crap. I, I'm gonna go back and do that. This is what I did before. <coughs> I followed the train tracks here, 
and that was a much better path than going through here if you don't need to. I do end up needing to at some point, but I'm trying to. Hello, Eagle. See, I don't I don't think we really have like a crazy amount of stuff to do on this map. Um, there is quite a lot. I feel like there's a, that's what she said joke somewhere in there. I know, I almost, I almost said it myself, Zing. I was about to, but I was like, eh, maybe not. I was going to say something like, always got to be careful for the deer, you know, something like that. Always look out for, you know, something, something weird. You just guessed? Yeah, it's fine. I don't, I don't really watch many movies or anything, so I don't, I couldn't even tell you if that's right, but I, I'm pretty sure it's free, but I'm, I misspell stuff so often, so I wouldn't even, like, yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't worry about it. I gotta get onto the tracks and stay on here, though, this is so slow. Hello, Tank Baby. Hello, Bad Boy Gamer. Welcome. All right, should we start moving? You found Telly? Where is he? I know he was moving. I haven't seen him. He, he has a stream, at least last time I checked, he had a stream scheduled for Jan er, <coughs> March 31st. Last time I had checked. And it's uh, mid-April now. Which was, I probably checked, I don't know, like a week ago or something. But I know he was moving places, so that was why he's been inactive for a little bit. He did make the one video about the the Azov Adam when that came out, but I think he probably had most of the you know a lot of the news or whatever he already wanted to cover like ready to go. So when it came out, he was able to do it pretty quickly. Oh, he's streaming right now. Okay. Truck Simulator is that a new game? Or is it like ETS? Oh, American Truck Simulator, I see. I'm on my phone. Yeah, ATS. Now I see you said it too. West Coast Trucker, huh? Alright, I better close this before I crash. You saw he, he released a War Thunder video? <laughs> Trying to be Dollar Blaze. No, he's he's talked to me a few times, like, he wants to get out of, or not, maybe not out of SnowRunner, but he wants to expand, I guess you could say. And I've told him, this was way back before he'd started producing other videos, I was like, yeah, do it. Like, because, you know, he was like, oh, I, I, he's only, basically he only made SnowRunner for like six months straight, and I was like, yeah, dude, put out whatever you want, like, if, if people want to watch it, they'll watch it, like, don't, you know. He was like, well, yeah, but I don't want to... Like, for the YouTube algorithm, you know, you kind of want to stick to a, a sort of a, a group of games, you know, like driving games or racing games or, you know, you don't want to be playing, like like I do, random games because it, it makes the YouTube algorithm all confused. Like, well, do you, are, you a, are you a survival, you know, survival game player or are you a driving game player? Are you a racing part of the driving or are you a truck driver? You know, like there's different like kind of niches. And I was like, just just play whatever you want to play and produce the videos. And then he started kind of playing all kinds of random stuff. So he's, yeah, he's been kind of going all over now. Which I think is good for him. Because otherwise you just lose your mind. If you only play one game, you're going to get very bored of it. And that's, that's part of the reason why I play other stuff. Because I know a lot of people don't watch them. And like, if you guys look at the amount of likes I get on some of the other videos, or not even likes, just views... Like, I could produce, like, a three-minute SnowRunner video and get more views than I do on, like, some of those, you know, 40-minute tutorials or whatever, like... The views aren't there, but it's not that, it's, it's I enjoy playing the other games, you know, so... That is why I do it, and, yeah, it's part of keeping your sanity. Daddy's here. Yeah, he's doing pretty well with some of them. 
There's quite a few of them that, are, that have been getting quite a few, uh, quite a few views and stuff. You liked it? Kelly's first War Thunder video is funny. I haven't seen it. I usually watch his other stuff, but I've been pretty busy. I haven't seen... Well, also it helps that he hasn't produced very much lately, but I haven't seen much of the other content for a while. Um, he streamed at the same time I do, so... Don't really get to watch much of his streams anymore, unless I watch him after the fact, so... Oops. Um... You lose some, but you could gain way more. The Snowrunner community is pretty small, to be honest. Yeah, exactly, Zing. It is a very small community, but... I think the main part is it keeps your sanity. <laughs> but yeah, you... I mean... And in the long run, it... I mean, you guys can probably all name content creators that play multiple games, you know? Or maybe not even multiple games that are in multiple niches. I can think of quite a few of them that are... You know... They basically just play whatever's new. Like, a new game comes out, they play it ne next week, another one comes out, they play that. Like, they're so big that it doesn't really matter anymore what they play. And so that's kind of the point that I think you'd hopefully get to at some point. To where you can just play anything that you want, and with the amount of people, you know, you have so many people watching that you can... They'll, somebody will watch it, you know. Somebody by, by somebody I mean a lot of people. Hello, Marty. You love SnowRunner. Snow is a good game. I agree. Evening, JJ. Uh, here is the first one of the night. 22 watching, 14 viewers. Thank you. Like GTA 6? Yeah. I started making some uh, GTA 3 videos, but... For some reason, like I said, I haven't been able to get my GTA San Andreas or... Uh, Vice City to work, so... I still gotta try and... Figure out what's, what's the deal with those. Ghost Rider says BS. I just play whatever looks interesting to me. That's the way to go. You'll be back. You've got to build a computer desk. Okay. BSR. What does that stand for? I'm not familiar with that one. Whoa, man. <laughs> Actually, let's park here. It's, uh, what time? 6.30 in the morning. Alright, let's attempt this terrible idea here. Alright. Here goes nothing. You like the live? I appreciate that, Alfredo. Alfredo. Alfred. I don't know what I should call you. Hello, Daniel. Welcome to the stream. We are attempting your your route, Daniel. You said number... I think it was number three. I said one... One, two, and I'm pretty sure this was three. One was one was right up, two was to the right, three was to the left. Yeah, we uh, tried to pass some time when the night was going. Now it's just becoming day, so I'm trying to sneak through the trees here. So I did do this on my normal mode last night. I wanted to see if it was possible. So I told the guys at the start of the stream I did do it, and it was, I managed to climb it twice, so... Oops, let me shut this off quick. So we started up, up here last night, right? So I, I brought my truck up to there, and then I tried going up here and down, and I was able to go down through here, but this turn was too sharp to go back down the road. So then I had to go straight, and then I tried to turn through here, and that was too sharp. It, it's Basically, it's too steep going downhill, and then I crash into this rock, and same thing with this rock. So then I had to go all the way down the hill, and then this rock's, rock's kind of flat, so I turned around and then went back up. And then I tried going up through here and turning, that didn't work. And then I tried going up through here and that did work, but I had to like turn my truck straight down and then go over this hill and then... So it's going to be interesting, for sure. Alright, but then I attempted a route through the trees just like I'm doing right now. And I was able to get all the way up. 
but uh, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be good no matter what way we do it, I don't think. But I'm I'm still very scared that if we fail, fail, fail bad enough <coughs> with our current rule set, we might we might be done with one of the rules because. Um, wait, where did I? I think I turned through here actually. Um, because like yeah, I told, told I said earlier if I if I were to fail. I could just recover, right? That would be one thing you could do and then just go try it again. But obviously we're trying not to recover, so that would ruin that one. Or if I just flipped over and just was like, okay, well, we're not we're not going to recover, but we'll just buy a new vehicle. Then, you know, that one would be screwed up. So yeah, with the combination of all three, or even if I just bought chains, we would probably be able to do it. But yeah, it's a combination of all three that are getting getting us. So, hopefully we don't end up screwing up the run, that's the, the really big hope. If I can just get this up there and get it back down, I would be so happy, because then I feel like I could beat the rest of the game without chains. So for right now, I'm kind of skeptical. But I do know it's possible, it's just can we get it in this run without screwing up, because if we screw up, it might be, uh, yeah, we might not have a second chance, basically. So yeah, this looks so promising to go right up through there, but it's just too steep. The truck couldn't make it when I tried earlier. So we're trying to ease our way up the hill here. Okay, there we go. Got over that hill. Now we gotta slowly back our way down. Oh boy. Hey JJ in chat, I know most of you know that Saber was sold. Uh, it was sold to the co-founder of Saber, really. Uh, he had his own company called Beacon Interactive. Beacon Interactive Group LLC, nice, didn't know that. Hello Saki, hello Sawyer. Alright, I'm gonna grab a drink quick here, hang on. Alright. So yeah, I can go up through here, but then we're gonna have to... The, the truck gets super turned right here because there's no other trees, so this is the only tree to attach to to kind of turn my vehicle. And it gets really... Actually what happened is I ended up doing a total 180 to get my truck off this tree, and then I had to reverse up the hill. And I don't really want to do that, so I think I'm going to try and go through the trees. And I know it's kind of sketchy, but if we can manage to get sneak through these trees, the route is easier than going... I know this route looks so nice. It's nice and flat and open, but... This task is a nightmare? Yeah. Without chain tires, this might be the worst thing in the game. I'm trying to remember, how did I sneak through this? Did I... I think I might have went right through here. Oh, actually, no, I think I went through the top one. Crap. Which one did I go through? Was it the top or the left? I think it might have been the top one. Pretty sure it was this gap. Okay, and then now I gotta turn... Turn the front of the truck. Oops. Going down. Yeah, if you guys ever want to do a chain tires challenge, this would be the one mission to try. Well, like I said, chain tires without recovery and uh, and without buying new vehicles. So you're you're stuck with like the the eight you get or nine you get for the first few maps. Uh oh. Okay, let's, let's see if we can pull this this way. Like I said, I literally can't wait till we get done with this task, because then I feel like I can beat the rest of the game if it's if we can manage to make this one. 
And it's 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 almost funny to me because I literally been saying for like three, probably probably even longer, probably even for like five months now, that I've been saying, um, I'm worried about this one specific task. I think I've been saying it all the way back since like Cola, maybe. I know for sure Yukon. Yukon, Wisconsin, and now all of Tamir. All right, let's try and get the front of this to turn around now. So let's go... Where are we? There we go, that one. It was sold because their owner, Embracer Group, was in debt. Oh boy. Let me see if I can sneak this. Actually, let me just use the mouse. This might be easier. Hello, Tobias. You got the 6455B. Nice. Congratulations. That's a good truck. Fun one to have. Might have got myself into a little bit more of a pickle than I did yesterday, huh? I did have myself in a similar situation, but I think yesterday was a little bit easier to get out of. <clears throat> okay, so... Hmm... Maybe I need to go into a 180 here. Okay, there we go. Now let's go up here. Okay, I think we got it now. No, that was the trouble we had at the beginning. With the truck bed is catching on this tree, just barely. Okay, I think I gotta get a tiny bit further past this tree. Like right there. Crap. Nope. Not that much. Like, right there. And then, I basically gotta play it just perfect. I can't go too far back, and I can't go too far forward, either. Because I need, I need to use this tree to turn. Aren't you guys glad you're not doing, like, a no-chained run through a mirror? Okay. I'm gonna try to, to detach. I want to break off some of these small trees. I know you're probably thinking, why would you do that? Well, if I happen to attach to some of these trees on my way down, and start pulling, they might break off and, you know, kind of screw up the run. So let's do attach from here to that one, I think. All right. Okay. I think... I think I might have squeezed... Crap, which one did I go... I might have went through the right here. Yeah, I think I did. Oh, 
Yeah, and I'm gonna check quick. I don't know, I might have went more left. This doesn't look like I can go through this gap. Hang on a second, let's use the camera. I mean, I think I might have went through here. Actually, I think that might be the route I went up this through this hill. Yep, that was it. Straight to the left, okay. Alright, let's try and get up here. Trying to break off some of the smaller trees again. Okay, let's do that one. You guys probably think I'm weird for doing this, but like I said, if, if we start to fall, we're gonna need these trees gone. We need big trees that'll that'll actually hold our weight. Not that one, I think. That was the other one. We also gotta watch our fuel. If we run out of fuel when we're up here, we're probably screwed with that too. Actually, no, we probably could sneak up with a smaller truck, I believe. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Can't tell if that's a bigger tree or not. Nope. Okay. Okay. Alright. What do you guys think so far? Terrible, terrible idea? You'd probably be right. Well, actually, you are right. It is a terrible idea. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend a no-chained run for anybody at this point. Taking shortcuts like a king. This one's not even really a shortcut. It's, uh... We're, we're not using chain tires, so it's it's our only really option, I think. We've tried a few other things, which all failed. Okay, where is that must be a real tree. Yeah, okay, let's try and break this one off. You think it's pretty impressive? I'll take it. I think those might all be real trees. Maybe that one? Nice, small tree, okay. Oh, wait, why are we falling? Okay. Okay. I think we may have got it, guys. This is the final step. Right here. Yes! Okay, now we've made it up. We basically just can't tip over. And... We gotta make our way back down with the trailer. Yeah. Oh boy. This, yeah, we've made it up, but we're still not out of the woods. Alright, so here's the road. This is where the road connects back. God, I, I can't... My heart is pumping, guys. I'm so nervous, because like I said, if we fail this, this is probably one of our... One of our... One of the things we've had through seven seasons of SnowRunner out the window. We either have to recover, or buy chains, or buy another vehicle. One of the three if we fail this. I think at this point we could probably get up here and refuel it. I don't know if we'd be able to get a big enough truck. 
actually, yeah, we. I think the I think the Zix might be too too wide to fit through some of those trees. All right, I'm gonna grab another drink here. Am I am I really gonna get stuck like right on the road? All right, sorry, I missed a whole bunch of chats, guys. I was trying not to really read it because I would probably flip my truck. Uh, all right, Bartish says they have unique coating or what, Daniel? The similar to what are on other trucks? Are you talking about the Tiger tires? I did, I did see some of them. I just didn't read them. I was trying to stick to it. All right, let's get back. Now we're on the road again. Yeah, I think the six might be too wide. Oh, please tell me I can fit through here. I thought we were out of the woods. Are you kidding me? Am I really not going to be able to get this? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, God, I was so worried there for a second. Oh, no, now our, our, our gas, our fuel tank's catching on it, though. No. Oh, and our, our crane's too far back. It's not gonna be able to push off this rock very well. Okay, let's let's put it in park for a second. Let's bring out the camera drone again. I'm so nervous, I, I'm literally sweating sitting in my chair. This is crazy. Okay. I mean we might be able to go down here but I don't like the slope we could probably go down turn and go right back up but I don't like that slope could we maybe go out to the village over here it looks like we might be able to go to the village that way that's the trailer we need this is literally the one last thing stopping us I think I might Go backwards down the hill and to the left there. It doesn't look too bad over here. It does look swampy, like really slow in the middle, so I gotta be careful to stick to one of the sides, I think. Okay. Alright. This is not fun. Bad enough going up a hill, try reversing back down it. Sometimes the Kenworth is good in a mirror. Oh, I believe that 100%. Kenworth's a good truck. Big tires. I mean, it's got pretty much everything you need. It's 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 not great going up hills, but if you uh, if you stick to the flats, ah, oh, this this turn is even making me nervous. It's super. Uh, I think I'm gonna back further down even. I'm going to try and go a little bit more left. Yeah, it's pretty good at climbing over rocks as well, but it just depends on if there's like trees around to kind of hook onto. Come on, somebody please pull me hard. Maybe we're good here. Maybe. Hopefully. Please do not flip. It's hard to show you guys, but it's at... It's a pretty kind of uh, low area right there. Okay. Oh, I think we're good. Alright. Now we gotta make it through these trees. 
Oh wait, this is the road? I didn't even know. I thought we were off the road. Oh, that was that was the road I came up. Oh, okay. Hello, Zing. Hello, Kevin. Welcome back. Um, I mean, we're doing pretty good now. We're up the hill. All we have to do is climb up through that, that opening up there. You can kind of see it. That's the goal. If we can make it up there, which I think there's not really any reason why we can't, um, I think we're good. Then we have to make our way back down the hill, which I think we're probably just going to go the other way this time, going down. That's a pretty straight shot down the hill. We just got to try and put it in low and hopefully slowly climb down. Oh, I wouldn't say it was easy by any means. No way. No, definitely not. I'm, I'm literally sweating in my chair. Like my arms, my armpits. There's, there's literally sweat like running down my arm. I was so nervous. Because like I said, if I, if I fail one thing on this, this, that could be it for our, our run. Because, like, we're, we haven't recovered yet um, through, you know, all of Michigan, Alaska, Tamir, Kola, Yukon, and Wisconsin, and then all of them here so far. So if we screw it up, it would, there, you know, there's no going back, basically. All right, let's see if we can attach the back of this. We would, we would pretty much have to, at least in my eyes, probably probably throw out one of our uh, one of our three things either buy a set of chains which would probably the last one I would do I'd probably rather buy a new vehicle or recover than I actually probably I'd buy a new vehicle I think a no a no recovery run with no chains would be probably the, the best run so if I had to break one of the three I'd probably buy a new vehicle And it, it still couldn't be a duplicate, so it'd have to be a Russian vehicle that... Oh god, we're, we're getting pretty close on fuel here as well. It'd probably have to be a Russian vehicle. Other than the Six, the Dan, the Taiga, all those ones. Okay, here we go. Finally, we're up. Okay. I don't even really care if we take damage on these. I'm trying to give them a couple of seconds to kind of break. I've honked at a fence before, and I've had the fence, as I was driving over it, decide to jump out. Like, I honked, then drove, and the, the fence... Oh, I gotta deliver this. The fence, like, jumped out at me and literally flipped my P-16. That's how much force it had. Accept, start tracking, change task... Oh my lord. Oh, that's done. Finally. Okay. That is a relief. You thought this was hard mode? This is definitely hard mode. A Voron, that's a good good choice. That's probably what I would go with Zing, because I wouldn't want to get the, the uh the Mastodon. I feel like that's just Although it would be fun to have that truck in this hard mode, because you know I'd probably only allow myself to buy one. Um, so like this this route down is pretty straight, but I'm all this ice over here is breakable. So if I get down, I'm probably going to sink into the ice and have nowhere to go. So I mean I could go back this way. I feel like that's pretty risky though. Although it is going downhill, maybe I should just go back the way the ice road back. What do you guys think? Should we take the straight road down and probably get stuck in this ice and maybe maybe have to come rescue ourselves? Or take this road down towards our other trucks? What do you guys think? Thank you, South Bang. I appreciate that. Now you just gotta eat the guy off the edge. I need the trailer zing. I gotta, I gotta make my way back down. Uh, which one was it called? Uh, I think it was ground control here. 
We gotta get this trailer, I'm pretty sure. And then we need some slabs and bricks. The ice pit is steeper, isn't it? Yes, it is steeper. The ice pit is steeper. It's it's kind of hard to see, but it pretty much just goes straight down. Whereas this one, it kind of slowly zigzags back and forth a little bit. It's definitely a little a little longer angle going all the way up there. I mean, this this whole thing kind of slopes up to here. Whereas this one, it basically goes from here just straight down. I would say this one's probably fine. I'm a little bit worried about this rock and then this turn. But I think... I think I'm going to go down towards the vehicles. Yeah, towards the other trucks. I think I'm going to just throw it in low and hopefully we can get get down. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. Just in case. You know, hopefully if we come down with some speed. Yeah, it's more of a chance to flip. Okay. Alright, let's refuel. We do have the uh, add-on, which kind of saved the day. You wouldn't trust that ice to the north? Yeah. I was just thinking, like, well, maybe if we just kind of go slow, it's it's straight down, so hopefully we don't slip or, or, like, flip or hit anything. But to be honest, maybe those rocks kind of hold us from flipping. They kind of hold us in place. So we'll see. But yeah, this is quite a view from here, isn't it? Too bad I'll never see this view again. Although I don't want to at this point. That was so much work to get up there. Oh my god. 206 damage. Oh wait, we can repair ourselves with the trailer we have. Repair, 1500. Thank you very much, Mr. Trailer. That was very nice of you. Wait, does SnowRunner have cross-platform uh, compatibilities? Yes, it does, Orange. You can play with PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Uh, Steam and Epic can play together. Or Steam and Steam and PC. Or, excuse me, Steam and uh, PlayStation. Or uh, Epic and Xbox. Or whatever combination. I don't know if... Is Switch included in that? I'm not sure. Yeah, that was an oof, but at least we have the trailer to fix ourselves. Kind of a free fix. Oh no, it's kind of hindering our turn though. This is not good. It's a little bit too close with this add-on. At times, I guess. No JJ driving with pop tires today. That's right, I got a brand new trailer. Alright. If I can make it down this next, like, 100 meter section-ish... I think we're good. Oh man, these rocks are right in the middle of the road. I hate those things, because then you hit them and you almost flip over. And there's no trees. Alright, hang on, we're going to go to the right. Okay, now we're going to try and go back left. Okay. Man, that rock is right in the way. I don't like that. I'm gonna go a little bit more to the right. You'll be fine. Okay, let's put it in low already. This is just ice the rest of the way down. Can I have it? What? Oh. When I brought the trailer down this way with the Tiger 6436, disaster struck on that curve. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about, Daniel. Okay, at least I know I can make it back up to this point. We've gone up to this point, so... If we do flip now, I feel okay. Oh, I'm, I'm breaking hard. Oh, come on. Come on. Stop. 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 It's not stopping. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Ah. Okay, we got it. We're good. We're around the tree. We're around the tree. Stop, stop. Ah, there goes another tire. Oh, another tire. Okay, we made it. Oh, my lord. Oh, that was the most stressful thing I think I've ever done in this game. 
I, I, like I told you guys, I'm literally sweating. Low minus? Uh, it would have been a good idea, thank you. Or low plus even, yeah. Putting in reverse could have helped. I've actually tried that before on the Season 10 hill and it did nothing. So I'm pretty sure low is the only thing that helps for some reason. I tried reverse before. Actually, let's fix up our other trucks while we're here. We all did it. Yeah, it definitely took a team effort. That was... That was very stressful. Thank you, South Bank. Alright, if anybody wants to resend any chats that I missed in like the last half hour trying to go up and down that hill, feel free. Because I know I missed a lot of them. Now we should, I mean, if we flip over at this point, we can just fix ourselves. I'm pretty sure the rest of the game, we should be fine. The Dan's weight helped. Trader literally pushed me. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the trader can kind of get some momentum going and then just goes right through you, doesn't it? Oh, gosh. Okay. Whew. I'm so glad to have that done. You guys don't even know, that was such a relief. I, Like I said, I was literally like thinking about that one for like three seasons now. 21 likes, oof. I feel like that, that, that should be at like 50. Is it victory rocket time? Honestly, we, that's a good idea, Zing. Normally I would save it for the end, but... Hey, we made it. I, at this point, we made it, so... We already got the bricks over there, we got the trailer. Although I don't really want to turn in the trailer right now if I could use it for fixing for a lot. Hmm. Now I'm torn. Ah, screw it. Let's just do it. Who cares about the fixing? We have, uh... 1.3 million dollars on hard mode. That's pretty good. Let's go launch the rocket. I think I gotta find out where the bricks are at. Or not the bricks. The, uh, concrete slab, I think. And then we can launch the rocket. Uh, your mom signed you up for American football. Where are you from? That's why you love heavy trucks, Orange. Be right back, Selfang. Rugby on top. Okay. Yeah, I, I can say I would not recommend a no-chained run after that. That was really hard. Up until this point, it hasn't been too hard, but that hill has ice, really icy spots up both sides with minimal trees. Um, obviously, it is doable, but with if you have multiple, uh, m like, multiple hindrances, like I did with the no recovery, no chain tires, and no buying vehicles, yeah, if you... If you fail, like, you can't just go back, you know, you're kind of, if you flip over a vehicle up there, you almost can't flip it back over, you know. Greetings, Chan. Chan, if you want to see me literally sweating in my seat, you'll have to go back and watch the beginning of the stream. We just got done with that icy road. I've been worried about that road for, like, three seasons now. And we finally made it. I'm, I'm doing pretty good now. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very relieved. I think we can beat the rest of the game now without using chain tires. Unless they throw a big curveball in with Season 15. I think we're good. In the spring, the people that live in the area are going to be pissed with the, the ruts you made. Yeah. And the person who I ran over their house with their, uh, their fence and stuff, they won't be happy. Should you try and do a run with all terrains? I think it's possible. I don't I don't know if highways would be possible. I feel like that might be pushing it. Because there's some spots where I don't know if you can I don't know if you'd be able to move enough to to kind of make up for it, you know? Am I catching on the tree roots or something here? What am I on? The rock maybe? Dwayne the Rock Johnson. This is Amir, yes. I think I'm I think I'm stuck on this rock. Alright, let's try and patch the trailer forward maybe.
What on earth am I stuck on? It's a highway tires in a mirror would be super easy, wink wink. Um, Dwayne Johnson, that's also another one that, uh... Gosh, why are we so stuck? I don't, I don't understand. It's another one Blaine, Blaine mentioned. Maybe my truck is like stuck on the, on the side here or something? On the, on the rock on the left? Let's try this. Actually here, let's detach. Let's attach to the back of my truck, and then let's go to here, if I can find it. There. I think that might be what's catching. I've never been this stuck at this point. I'm pretty sure it's, it's both rocks under my truck that are getting me. Press F when in doubt. What is F? Let's try this tree. Couldn't find the tire stat for the 6455B, but I do believe they have unique coatings. Okay. There we go. Got other rocks. High centered. Yeah, the Dan the Dan's clearance cannot be great sometimes, especially without the uh, active suspension, which we do not have. All right, that is a very big relief. Yeah, let's go launch the rocket. What do you guys think? Actually, I probably should save it for another thumbnail. Maybe we'll do it. We'll do it tomorrow's episode. How's that? I'll use it for tomorrow's episode. That way I can at least get a thumbnail out of it. Like the biggest thing in Amir, you know. I probably should turn on my lights for you guys too. Pull the light pole to your side. Sorry, Zing, didn't didn't catch that earlier. Um, rear wheel drive run or a no winch run. Ooh. I think no winch is impossible. Well, I guess if you have the biggest, best trucks and you have good tires, like you can use chains, you can use the muds. I think a no winch run would be possible. Yes, man, but okay. Um, you could always use a no DLC truck for a mirror. Well, we. So, at Alfredo, we're actually doing kind of like that. We are. Um, we're doing a. <coughs> we're doing a run where we only. We only find, or we only get the trucks we find, so we're not getting any DLC vehicles. The only ones we're getting are ones from phases, so like the Zix, a no refuel run. I don't think that would last very long. Oh yeah, I drove past here yesterday and my bricks flew. They, they shot out from there and flew over here. Alright, I'm going to leave this here for now. Let's go to the, what was it, the con. We gotta do some refueling. One of those rocks rolled me um, with my oversized container back to Erska. <laughs> yeah, those, those rocks have gotten me quite a few times, Daniel. I'm just so glad to have that done. So yeah, the next stream in uh, next stream of hard mode Amir, we'll be launching the rocket. Jokes aside, looking forward to seeing your experience with Mud Runner. It will bring me back. I do have a few. I, I think I probably have like five videos of Mud Runner on my channel. Um, maybe even six. I played it. I played it once, like two, year, two, three years ago. Like a thirty-minute video. Then I played it again. Recently, like probably five months ago, I, I played it a few times, and I did stream it one time. But yeah, I do want to go back and beat all of Mud Runner, which it's kind of fun to see Nathan doing that now. 
Um, yeah, I just beat Expedition, so we're, we're done with that. Obviously, we'll play if they have a DLC. I don't know how much we'll play the DLC, but yeah, we'll probably test it out a little bit, see how it goes. Probably maybe if a stream or two or three or something, I don't know. Maybe we'll play it all. Probably depends on how much I enjoy it. I kind of started to get sick of sick of it at the end with like, oh, you need to have this add-on and use this person and... I don't know, that was kind of annoying. And not knowing where, like, which map the, the tasks I was missing are on or were. Or, I mean, I guess SnowRunner doesn't do that either, but if you explore the entire map, you have the upgrade somewhere on there. Thank you, Kevin. Don't forget to thumbs up the stream, guys. All right, let's... If you guys had to say what would be the hardest thing that you think is still possible to do in SnowRunner, like, as far as, like, a, a full playthrough of the entire game from, from Michigan to, well, up to Season 13 so far, well, 12, I guess, for most people. Um, what do you think, like, I'm not talking, like, a combination, like, no, no, uh, recovery plus no tires plus this plus that. I'm talking what's the one thing you think would be the absolute hardest thing to do, like, like the one restriction but it has to still be possible so like a no refuel run wouldn't be um, I don't know like no crane maybe because the crane is very helpful at times but I feel like you could easily do it without a crane it's very helpful in the beginning but it's not I mean I know I didn't use the crane when I first started so it's not required maybe Maybe no no other tires other than highway... Well... Because I feel like... Yeah, you, you could use... I don't know. An all highways tire, because you would, you'd have to do the same thing that I just did without using chains. Right? To go up that hill. And I don't know if you'd be able to get up that hill without having better... Uh, without having a better tire. So... I don't know if that would be possible. What do you guys think? Do you think you could get up that same hill that I just did with a, uh, with no, no, no chains, I guess? Get up the hill with no chains, only highways? I don't know if it could get up there. Ooh, first person only. That would be really tough. No winch or no recovery. Well, we're doing a no recovery run, Orange, and I think we've got it now. Uh, I mean, we've made it past the worst part of the entire game now. In, at least in my opinion. So I think I think we can get the no recovery run. With no chains, with no buying vehicles, with no duplicates, no chain or er, I said no chains already. But a couple other things mixed in there. Not possible with highways? I don't think so. I think I mean it was really tough for me to get well actually so the thing is if you're only doing one challenge, right, Zing? That if you missed it you could recover, right? You could go back, you could buy a different vehicle. So what if you... What if you chose something... Like, obviously it'd have to be a truck that has highways, so you... Like, the Mastodon would be ruled out. The Zix would be ruled out. The Tuz. Like, there's a bunch of them that would have to be instantly ruled out, because... You just can't... You can't... You have to use highways. But would, do you think it'd still be possible... You could, you could have infinite chances, basically, to get back up there, just... Can it can a no a truck with only highways climb that? I don't think so. I don't know. You are Tim the Toolman Taylor. And you all know my assistant, Al Borland. Is that his, was that the other guy's name? Al? I remember Al, but was it Borland? I don't remember that. You had to deal with family drama, what did you miss? I don't remember when you left Eagle, but we finally made it up that hill and back, so... Yeah, I'm very relieved now. You would never drive up that even with highways? But what if you had the winch? Because we, we had to winch our way, way up, up, up a bunch of that. I mean, I'm not going to go and try it, but... I don't know if it's possible. I, I'm, I'm, I'm more with using. I don't think you'd be able to climb that hill with just highways. I've gone through some pretty 
pretty bad sections of road on highways and you're like you're not moving right that was pretty steep hill so you you put that steep like a, a thick mud on a hill like that i mean i know it's snow it's a little different but i don't think your truck's gonna move at all unless you're winching and towards the top there there was a point where we had to climb like a, a really steep um I don't know, it was pretty solid, but it was really steep. I guess maybe the highways could climb that part, but I don't know. There was too much area even at the top with all the winch points, yeah. I don't I don't know if it'd be possible. I think a no winch run would be possible. A no recovery run's possible. Um I think no no chain tires, I don't remember if I already said that one. No, no winch, no chains. Uh yeah, I think highway truck only would be would be easily possible because if you do an only well like i said it's only one restriction so if you did highway only you'd still be able to use muds you'd still be able to use chains winches cranes i definitely think that would be uh, one of the easier ones actually it'd be a fun one to do especially if you did like a, a no all-wheel drive or yeah i was gonna say no all-wheel drive and no diff lock but like i said it can't have multiple uh <laughs> multiple things so Oh, a no damage run? I don't think that's possible. Uh, yeah, I suppose it probably is. It probably is, yeah. You'd literally have to drive like two miles an hour everywhere. A scout with a trailer run? I thought about doing that, Bartish. I know we were talking about this a couple weeks back. I have thought about doing a scout only run, but... Um, we w you would have to include a couple of bigger vehicles because... Well, so for one, you could deliver medium logs with like an F750 or a burlap, right? So that is, that's one thing you could do. But you're going to need a saddle low and a saddle high. And you would also need uh, short logs and a seismic vibrator. There might be more that you would need, but you would for sure need those ones. Which would mean you'd have to have at least a small vehicle and a medium size. Because the, the small vehicle could do the, the saddle low and high. And actually, maybe if you really wanted, you could get the, the bigger vehicle to do the saddle low and high. But you'd also need the short log carrier. And, uh... And, and it'd have to have a, at least a long enough frame for the seismic to go on. A GMC run? Oh shoot, I'm almost out of fuel here. I think the GMC run would be fun, and also not super challenging because you'd have all-wheel drive and diff lock but yeah if you're only using one truck it would get it would get pretty hard thank you zing yeah i just noticed that i'm like oh dang we're almost out also this fuel station is going to absolutely kill us here check out the price here eight dollars per liter challenge maybe can't switch a car if you want another car you need to drive drive at um like you have to start from the garage every time or something like what if i wanted to switch to this one i just can't switch i have to drive oh like so if you want to switch to a car you have to drive to it and then switch you can't just switch so basically well you basically have to drive t two vehicles everywhere then because like if i drove out here and ran out of fuel then I couldn't switch to another vehicle, I'd be just kind of stuck. I could see, like, if, if you wanted to switch... Like, right now, if I just decided I want to switch, you know... But... Uh, come on. See so, yeah, how the fuel station is just around the corner here, guys. Believe it or not. Oops. Refuel. Alright. Oh, we're breaking every tree. There we go. So did, did we come to a, a consensus on what we think would be the hardest way to, to run the game? Like, hardest, but also still possible. 
I don't know if an all, like I mean maybe you guys can let me know what you think I don't know if the all highway would be possible I don't think you could make it up that hill because without chains you definitely can't go straight up either side and uh, yeah I just I don't I don't think you could climb that hill So yeah, I, th I think, because if I were to say, like, you can only use all terrains, then it might be possible. Or or uh, off-roads, I th think you could easily climb it with off-roads. A stock tire or stock engine challenge, that's what Daniel, I, I remember you said the stock engine earlier, yeah. Forgot to read that one, I think. I don't know, I feel like a stock engine challenge wouldn't be too difficult. Maybe it's just me. I mean, maybe I'm not used to how bad the vehicles are with a stock engine, but... I don't know, I feel like that wouldn't... It would make it harder, but you'd still have... Again, you'd still have all those things. You'd have tires, you'd have winches and cranes, and... I don't know if it would... I don't feel like it would make it super difficult, but the stock tire challenge... Depending on how you allow... Like, which trucks you're allowed to use... Because you could... You could start off with the the mastodon you know and just use stock tires on that and be able to climb up that hill that we just well maybe not that hill but you'd be able to climb it as far as capability goes but um i think it's too wide to fit up there but i feel like that one i didn't even check the price there but that was super expensive i know that but yeah i think tires tires would be the hardest one but it it, it kind of depends on how you do it um because if you did a stock tire challenge, like I said, you could use you could use like a DLC truck or like the Zix or the the Tuz 420 or something to to climb up. Because those those stock tires are really good. Honestly, I just had this idea. You guys know how I had such a hard time climbing that? It, maybe I'm stupid. I could have used the Tuz 420, right? And attached that and pulled up like this truck with a scout trailer on it with that same route. I was worried about the, the stuff falling off taking the other route, but the route we took, I th think maybe it would be possible. I don't know, we did go over a part where it might probably would have tipped over. Hang on a second. Sorry, my nephew turned the TV up to like a hundred volume. I'm sure you guys probably heard that. Oh, come on. When does season 13 start? Um, I, I think it's probably the end of next month. Which would be like six weeks. Um, it's already been two weeks would be tomorrow. I would say at the very, very earliest would be another two weeks. But I, I don't, I don't see that could be though um somebody checked yesterday and they said um tennessee took six weeks so tennessee was six that was a one map region same size you know rough i mean this one has more contracts in it than that one did or more more total things to do but um yeah i, I don't know i think six weeks six weeks was for season Nine as well, six weeks was season 10, and six weeks was 11. I don't remember 12, I keep forgetting to check every time after I stream, I forget about it, but... I think roughly six weeks would be the, uh... You couldn't hear that? Oh man, it was super loud. It's just in the other room right behind me, so... He's like, the TV just randomly went up to 100. I was like, okay, I doubt that. But I asked, I was like, well, is your, is your brother around? Because, you know, maybe his brother's got the remote and turned up the sound or something. He's like, no, he's gone. Okay. 
No jumping ahead, have to play the regions in order. No DLC vehicles you have to buy. So cut, we're, that's basically what we're doing, Daniel, right? No jumping ahead, so we're not, we haven't jumped ahead at all. Um, play the regions in order, we're doing that as well. And no, D, no DLC vehicles, we're also doing that because we're only using the ones that we find, so. You kind of named off part of our run. They said it's the last scout in season 13. Uh, there's there's going to be one more. It might might end up coming in season 13, but there's one more scout at some point here. So 144 just for that. That's 18 liters. 7,200 for that one. Oof. That is a rip. Jim Carrey. Yes cap, it's more of a cap. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? So picturesque, we could go to these two spots. These aren't too far away. Oops. Got one here and one here. Oh, actually, uh, I remember what I was going to do. Step 310. Let's go deliver those uh, spare parts. And we could hit up one of these spots on the way. Is anybody in here? Um, maybe lessons. Anybody watching Menace's stream at the same time? I think Menace might uh, might be one of the or uh, he might be one of the only ones. Maybe Zing watching it. Uh, depends on the stock tires are top tier. That's true. Yep. Sorry if I missed anybody's chats. I just saw I missed that one. Oh, with the stock tire challenge. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty tough. You might have it there, Daniel. Stock tire challenge, everything in order, no jumping out of order, no DLC vehicles. You gotta pay for trailers. Well, I, that's another restriction that I kind of forgot we even have, but we are only using the trailers that we find on the map so far. I don't know if it's possible to complete the game without doing that, but... Um, yeah, we're gonna try. Uh, we obviously you have to have you, you do have to buy trailers for long logs. Uh, we've had to buy one in every region so far. So Michigan, Alaska, Tamir, Kola, Yukon, Wisconsin, and Amir. Those are the only only trailers we've bought in throughout the entire uh, gameplay. You're only watching my stream, okay? I was gonna say if anyone's watching, tell him I tell him I said hi. Just I don't know if he's uh, I know he's playing ATS, but I don't know what he's doing. I was gonna say long log traders. Yeah, that's the only one we've bought so far. I think we've bought seven. What did I just say? Uh, Michigan, Alaska, Tamir, that's three. Uh, Cola's four. Uh, was Yukon, five. Wisconsin, six. So yeah, we've bought seven trailers so far. All seven have been long log trailers. We've been able to find a way to complete all the rest of it without uh, You'll send him a bump in the back end from JJ? Okay. That works as well. Copy that. Okay. Alright. Let's accept this. Start tracking. Let's pack this. Show... Oh, cargo management. Wrong one. Wait, what? There we go. Alright, 37 for that. Trailers are half price. I mean, yeah, you could you could do a trailers are half price or something if you wanted. I don't remember having that. Oh, yeah, I think you have to go. Yeah, you go up this road towards that warehouse, and then you swerve off and go up through here. That's right. Okay. Um, what else do we have to do? We probably should start working on some of these. Solid rock. That's in the next map. Ground control. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Lifeline, two large pipes, where are those at? 
Do you get large pipes at the farm? Do you really? I don't know why I don't remember that. I kind of do now, actually. Farm. Large pipes, okay. We gotta go get two large pipes. Oh, that's right, we got this Tuz stuck. We gotta go get that out, too. I probably should do that pretty soon here. Where is my... Taiga. Yeah, okay, let's go. We'll go back with the taiga and get... Um, we'll go get the other trailer. The other uh, long trailer. We'll grab the... Uh, what is it? The long, large pipes. The one large pipe. Actually, we could overload it at that point. We could probably do two. I don't know if we'll do two or not. We'll see here in a bit, I guess. I have to say, I missed the roads of SnowRunner and MudRunner in Expeditions, but I get that. That's the point of the game. Telemenis asks if you missed the bump in the back end. Oh, Chan, you're, you're winning both streams. Nice. Yes, of course. It was pretty fun. So Chan delivered the message. Chan, you were quiet for like a good half hour there. So I had to check. I think you I think you popped in at like 44 minutes into the stream and then now it's it's been like a hour and 15 so I think it's about 30 minutes later. I don't know you're still here. But yeah Kevin I actually kind of like not having roads. I mean there are a few like you can kind of make a couple of roads out but I kind of like it. Just going wherever you want. All right, let's do crane, saddle low. Yeah, you're at work? Oh, okay. How's work going? Let's change the color here. It's been a while. Let's do, kind of wanted to do the blue because the crane. What do you guys think? What color? Working from home. Okay. Very nice. All right, Chan, which color should I paint my truck? I mean, it could be anything up here, I guess, too, but... I usually go with the multicolor paints. Anyone? Maybe I'll just go with green. I don't think I've ever used green. Take gray. Okay. Oh, I almost just recovered. That would have been a mistake. Ooh. I'm so used to just, as soon as, I, if I make a mistake, just recover it right away. That was bad. Gray. I like it. Tiger special. Oh, the, the tiger skin. Black and orange. OD green. What is OD? Well, I mean, I know what OD is, but I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know if I'm understanding it correct. What? You don't have the color mod? No, I don't. I don't have any mods. Well, I shouldn't say any. I do have like two. Okay, let's unpack this. Actually, hang on a second. What do we need this for? Cement. Not there, not there, not there. No. 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 I think that's all the ones in this region, or this map. That's a no. Wait, rocket carry to the platform? What is ground control? Oh, that's, that's not even launching the rocket, that's just bring the trailer and then the, the slabs and bricks to like rebuild the launch site or whatever, the launch control area. So liftoff is the last one. Gotcha. Army green, okay. Noise. Hello, Plas. Okay, logs. Logs. Bricks, blocks, beams, bricks. Okay, cement. 
After solid rock, okay. Is that the only one we need cement for? Okay, so more cement. And more. Okay, so we need quite a bit of cement on the other map. But it looks like this one, not so much. Yeah, okay, we don't need any cement on this map, so... I think what I'll do is just drive it to where we're getting the, the, um, the large pipes at, and we'll throw out the uh, cement or whatever there, and then oop, come back and get it if we need it. Or when we need it. If we need it, when we need it, whatever. Oh, thank you, Chan. This is for you, my good sir. See, that, that's why I choose the gray paint for you, Chan. Uh, I am playing on a second playthrough of SnowRunner Michigan now, 82% done. Very nice. Uh, what are your... Are you doing anything special in that playthrough, Eagle? So you're here listening, okay. I think a lot of people do the same. They, they just watch and uh, play at the same time. Or kind of just uh, as a background noise even you know they don't they don't really watch like say for example chan who's working like he's just kind of got it up in the background something to do something to listen to you know but thank you chan i appreciate the donation very nice of you But yeah, if you guys, if you're tuning in late and you guys missed the start of the stream, I would highly suggest going back and watch it. That's probably the most, uh, maybe some of the most interesting gameplay I've ever had to do. I was literally sweating in my seat. I was so nervous if I failed that I would, I'd have to read, like, I would fail one of my main challenges in this hard mode. I never get what color I want. Pictures of kids stomping his feet. Didn't we, last time when we played Expeditions, Kevin, don't you remember we were doing like, you chose like three colors or something like that? We had like three different vehicles. I shouldn't say last time, that was quite a while ago, but. Oh crap, I still have a, oh, wait, no, I think I do have a high range gearbox. I, do, I have high range. No, I have off-road for sure. I have low, low minus, low plus. Like it now, nice. It's such a huge relief, like, I can't even explain how happy I am to have those two missions uh, off that mountaintop. Play one step closer. It's a song, One Step Closer, huh? Who sings it? Oops. Do you like the Don truck? Donnie Donster? Uh, in wit uh, this game, Chan, I'm assuming? Not Mudrunner, or uh, not, uh, not Expeditions? Expeditions, I would say it's actually better than here. Let me try and grab the back one. Um, in expeditions, the the range it will also it's you know it's more scouting based, so it kind of makes sense. But um, let's do the loading platform there. Um, I don't I don't really use it on here, well especially on my hard mode because we don't we don't have that vehicle yet. We have to play up until like season eight, I believe, to get one. No, yeah, eight season eight. Um, but I wouldn't say I, I dislike it, but I definitely don't really use it very much. It's just so small, doesn't have very much uh, fuel repair parts, spare wheels. So I don't use it very much, but I don't I don't dislike it. I mean, I, I dislike the loaf more just because everyone always tells me to use it, and I'm like, no, I don't want to use that thing. Uh, 
Alright, let's see if that'll pack. I don't think so. Impossible. Oh, Linkin Park one step closer. Gotcha. Yes, I know that song. R.I.P. Chester. Yeah, there's a Don in Season 12, too. You're correct. Yeah, my favorite truck, Chan, is the Step 39331 Pike. What type of music do I listen to? I listen to, like, rap and rock. So, Linkin Park used to be... Wait, what? I pushed the... That's interesting. Push the, uh, the... Um... The cement back. Yeah, like, rap and rock, so I listen to... I mean, I haven't listened to too much rock, like, recently, but that was what I used to listen to a lot. Now it's mostly, like, rap, hip-hop, R&B kind of stuff. But I like a lot of, like, Korn and Slipknot and Linkin Park and, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff. I don't know, Chan. It just... It kind of seems like it just goes through everything. And it's... I like the smaller... Like, I like the older looking... Uh, lo older looks of trucks. So, like... Um, I'm trying to think, like, the Zix 566A. Or, like, if you if you took that compared to, like... Uh, no, I... I mean, I need it at some point, Zing, but I don't need it now, so I, I was going to overload pipes, but I don't think I will. Yeah, I'm leaving it on the ground. Thank you, though. I'm going to come back and grab another pipe, so probably on my second trip through we'll grab one. Or grab it again, sorry. I was going to overload, but I, then I thought, like, well, I don't want to... I, I can't really carry five extra cargo, you know? I'll take five this trip and five next. Uh-oh. Uh, is that the Tuz? Mm, which one the Tuz? I've listened to some Matchbox 20, yeah. Um, but yeah, I haven't listened to much, like, rock for quite quite a few years. So I've kind of switched to more rap and rock, or rap and hip-hop and stuff, but... I, I definitely still like a lot of the older stuff. I just haven't listened to the newer stuff. Like, I haven't really... Most of the time, if, if it's on, I'll listen to it, but I don't, like, I don't know a lot of the newer music because I haven't listened to those kind of stations for, a while, well, quite a while. Which mission am I doing? Good question, South Fang. We are doing... I never track the right mission. Uh, supply? No. Which one is it? Lifeline. Here we go. We are doing Lifeline. That stall the Taiga did is why I don't like it. That you're driving right now. Oh, this is the Taiga 6436. Um, this one has like the tiger as its uh, skin or paint or whatever you want to call it. Uh, welcome in, Ian. How are you doing? Oops. Reading chat, I totally smashed that tree. Oh, almost flipped. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm so bad at, at tracking the ones that I need. Best live. Thank you, Alfredo. I'm so bad at tracking the missions that I need. I usually look at what I need and I kind of... You know, like, I looked at the, the mission, I'm like, Oh, I need that cement eventually. Let me take that with. But I, I don't need that cement for probably like five streams from now when I finally get out of this map. Yeah, some easy E, NWA, yes. Yes, Zing. I mean, I, I, I... Okay, so those were a little before my time, but yes, I have listened to both Easy e and NWA. Slipknot, there you go. Uh, Nine Inch Nails? Yes. I don't know what Ice Nine Kills is. Um, Motionless and White, haven't heard of that. Like I said, I haven't listened to, to, uh, to it for a while, but... Lorna Shore, never heard of. We Came Across Romans, never heard of, and Bare Teeth. So here's, a, here's kind of a funny story, Zing. So when I, I... So a long time ago, right? This was way, way back in the day. Um, I played at my friends an Xbox. This was probably... This was when the original Xbox was the just, you know, just a thing. Um, this was like 2001. I played at my friends... Oh, actually, I can fix myself. Aha. Good spot for it. 
Um, service trailer to the Taiga. Um, I played at my friend's Halo, the first Halo. And I was like addicted to games at that point. I was like, dude, this game is amazing. I have to get an Xbox. And I think I was, I must have been 11 at the time, because I was born in 90. I think it was 2001-ish. Um, wait, why did it go all the way down? Oh, whatever. Um. What was I about to say? Oh yeah, and then I, so I, I got an Xbox. I bought an Xbox used. I saved up all my money and worked, uh, I started working really young. And, uh. Yeah, I got an Xbox. I bought it used. Halo 1 was epic, yeah, for sure. And the Xbox had a bunch of music on it. And at the time, like I said, I was like 11 years old. It had NWA and, uh, what was the other one you said? Easy E, yeah. And I was listening to that music at like 11. They were just swearing left and right. And I was like, dang. I'd never heard of them before because I was kind of um, somewhat sheltered, I guess you could say. My parents were are Christian, so I was not really allowed to listen to any of that kind of stuff. But yeah, the Xbox, it already had that music on there. I thought it was so funny. So I did, I listened to that way back in the day. It was before my time, but I did listen to it. You used to love the mission with the sleeping grunts on the bridge? Oh yeah. I know which one you're talking about. Um, Snowbound? No. Snowbound was a map in Halo 3. Sorry. I played a lot of Halo 3 online. Snow... I forget the mission, but that my brother used to play that one all the time. Like, over and over and over he would play that one. And we, we would steal the Banshees. You know, we would, we would get a checkpoint right next to the Banshees and then steal them. That was fun. Good times. That was way before you could even fly the ban- Well, I mean, you could in that game if you stole one, but... JJ flinging gang signs at his Xbox, right? And my, and my 20 inch TV that was like made of glass and weighed like 100 pounds. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, good times. This has got to be like the worst part of this map. This part is so freaking slow. I shouldn't say the worst part. We just went through the worst part climbing that big old hill over there. Second worst part. I definitely got to take my Zix back, the 605R. I delivered that, that rocket and then I came down here and kind of messed around for a little bit. It's been down here for now like two two full episodes. I got to go back and change the add-on and go pull up my Tuz. I got to throw a, a crane on there. Large crane. Yeah, I played Halo, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo Reach, Halo ODST, uh, Halo 4, Halo 5, and Halo Infinite. So... They're a metal band. Um, there are two newer albums based off horror movies. Okay. Nervously looks at his vacuum tube on or vacuum tube TV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it just me that's waiting for Desert Runner to come out? Oh, the uh, the next in the series. I think. I'm pretty sure we talked about this the other day, Chen. I think they did uh, trademark Sand Runner. I mean, they, they have like 20 trademarks or something, but Sand Runner was one of them. That might be, could be the next one, I suppose. You miss the old days playing Mike Myers on Halo 3? Yeah, I think Halo 3 came out when I was in my junior year in high school. No. I think, yeah, I think it was Junior. And I played that a lot with my friends. I still have some videos on my old Xbox that... Uh, at the time, I... Because Halo 3 was, like, one of the first games that you could, like, record what had happened in the game. And I have some pretty funny ones. 
Uh, one of them, I remember I got a splatter, like I threw a grenade at somebody, and I, I'm, I totally missed them. But the grenade blew up, and it... Halo was kind of weird with stuff, but there was a sniper rifle on the ground, and the sniper, from the concussion of the grenade, flew into the guy and splattered him. I got a splatter kill from a grenade. <laughs> and it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't like a, a you know, a, a vehicle like flew into him or anything. It was literally a sniper rifle flew into him at high speed and killed him. A sniper rifle from somebody who had died and dropped their sniper on the ground there. Pretty, pretty weird, uh, weird thing. Um, another, another, this is probably the most weirdest one I ever had. Uh, I had a couple of friends come over. We were playing, uh, snipers and shotguns which was like a game type on I think it was high ground where there's like a both sides go up to a, a middle high point and then it, it drops off one of my friends who never he never had a system or anything all he ever liked to do is drive and so he's like hey jump on this mongoose I'll drive you I'm like dude it's it's shoddy snipes we're gonna get shot off this thing in an instant and he's like just jump on I was like fine okay so as soon as the match started, he jumps on a mongoose, I jump on the back. Obviously we only have snipers and shotguns. And so I had a sniper rifle. And we flew down to the enemy base to just drive up over the hill, right? And as soon as you get up over the hill, there's three... The whole team is shooting you with snipers, because it's just this one hill, basically. And uh, I somehow managed to get three headshots off the back of a mongoose. I got one double kill, and I was like one second away from having a triple kill. But I reloaded in between. I have no idea how I managed to pull it off. But yeah, I got a double kill and almost a triple, and I got three kills in a row, like really quickly. Five seconds, like five seconds apart. Pretty funny. I yeah, I recorded that one. I have no idea how I did that, but I have some pretty cool ones. Um, I used to like to stick people with grenades. My friends were like, "Dude, you're way too good at this." Um, so I would go around like on Snowbound, like I was saying with the uh, Halo 3 map, and I would I would just stick people as soon as they walk through those little shields. And I, I remember one time I had like 14 sticks in a game. <laughs> like I wouldn't even shoot people, I don't care how many times I died, I was just trying to stick people. It was pretty fun because some people get so frustrated and they run down there and you stick them and then they try and like hit you. And so they'll like lunge through the shield and then you just walk to the other side and they blow up and the shield doesn't hurt you. So, good times. Yeah, I played a lot of Call of Duty back in the day too. Uh, mostly World at War, that one came out I think my senior year in high school. But I did play... Kind of, kind of the bummer was... So my, my friend, he convinced me to get a PlayStation. He's like, yeah, well, my best friend. He's like, we'll both get PlayStations, we'll play together. I'm like, okay, well, you know, you're my best friend, why not? I get a PlayStation, then he goes out and get an, gets an Xbox. He's like, well, now we can play the best of both systems. I was like, dude, really? Why would you do that? Like, that was the whole reason I got a PlayStation. Anyways, uh, so then I went out and got an Xbox, because, you know, I wanted to have... All my other friends had Xbox, and this one friend was like, my best friend was like, hey, let's get PlayStation. I'm like, okay, sure. So yeah, that was when uh, 360 and PS3 just had come out. So yeah, he convinced me to get a PlayStation, then he went and got an Xbox. So then I was like, well, now I guess I need an Xbox to play with all my other friends. And him. Um, but, yeah, so I kind of missed out on, on Call of Duty 4. I had that on PlayStation 3. And then I missed out on... Wait, actually, I think that might have been the next one. I think by then I had an Xbox, so we played uh, World at War on Xbox. I didn't really play that many Call of Duties because I was into Call of Duties way back before they were like super popular. I played like Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty Big Red 1, Call of Duty Finest Hour. These are like Xbox original and GameCube games. Like way back, you know, really long ago. So by the time they came out with like Black Ops, Black Ops 2 and stuff, I was kind of already done with them. But I do still own all of the Call of Duties. Um, I have... I have Call of Duty Vanguard on my channel. I bought that a couple years ago. I actually have Halo Infinite on my channel as well. I played through the entire game of that. It's funny because I look back at some of my old videos and like I still have videos with like one view. Like one singular view that just <laughs> never did anything. Pretty funny that that is possible. Like 
you know, four or five whatever years later, just n nothing. But yeah, now I have PS3, PS4, um, Xbox, or original Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and a Nintendo Switch. And then obviously I have both Steam and Epic. I pretty much have all the systems except for a PS5. I mean, I don't have like a Nintendo Wii or anything like that. Did not play COD 1 or PC. Medal of Honor, I used to play Medal of Honor too. Those are really good games. And uh, Battlefields back in the day, yes, there you go, right, right on, right on cue, Kevin. Uh, it would be so, oh, looked away at a bad time. Wow. That was bad. Like I said, I looked away at a terrible time. Who's, whose comment was I trying to read? Uh, the one person I can't read their name. Um, it would be so good if they made another part of runner series instead of expeditions yeah it would have been better for sure yeah we're running out of fuel too um i like driving some features but i don't know the game feels boring so you're waiting and hoping yeah i, I hear you there that's kind of the reason stop driving on low gas it's kind of one of the reasons why I want to play play games with like stories because then I can get through more of them. I play or I have so many games that I just don't have time to play them. Duke Nukem and its level editor. Never played that. I like to play Infection way back in the day on Call of Duty, and now that made its way to or not Call of Duty on Halo, and now that made its way to Call of Duty. You mentioned Mars Runners earlier. Sorry if I missed that, Kevin. Battlefield Bad Company, when it came out, I stopped playing COD. Yeah, Battlefield Bad Company was really good back in the day. I think Bad Company 1 and then Bad Company 2. And then... I mean, they had some old ones. What was it, like 1942? Um, I used to play like the Splinter Cell games back in the day. Those were fun. Alright, now we're really really shaking. Alright, let's go back to our uh, fuel truck here. Actually, I'm just going to detach the trailer. We're going we're gonna to leave that here. I don't need a ton of fuel. I just got to run a little bit to it, so. What are we at percentage-wise? 56. Okay. But yeah, I'd like to play games that have a story so that I can actually beat the story and then like move to the next one. There's... And some of those games, like for example, if I were to play like say Fallout 4 or something, I know a lot of people, someone mentioned yesterday people are going back to Fallout 4 because the the movie. Um, if I were to play that, like that game is super long too, so I'd have to kind of play games that are like sort of s somewhat straight stories, you know, like the Call of Duty games or something. to where I don't get sucked in for hundreds of hours. The best battlefield in your eyes was four. Kevin, you don't have to answer this, but how old are you? I'm just curious. Uh, did anyone here play Tebby Tackle? Monkey Island? I've never heard of that. Has anybody heard of that Tebby or how do you, I don't know how you say that T Tebby Tackle? That looks what, that, I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Tebby Tackle. You used to be really good at Battlefield Three. I just remember the the huge maps in Battlefield and like the the helicopters and stuff. Like one of my friends was super good at being a helicopter pilot. Like you could be you could be a terrible shot, and you get in the helicopter with him and like. That dude would just fly around forever without getting shot down. Like, he would make you good. Stop driving? Why, you don't, you don't want me to talk? 33 in two weeks. And yes, I expect a birthday stream. Nice. Two weeks exactly? Oh, speaking of that, actually, um, next week, Thursday and Friday, I'm not sure if I'll have a stream. I think I probably will, but... Um... Maybe not on Friday, I'm not sure. Hello, Lonnie. Welcome in. How are you doing today, Lonnie?
You love the battlefield games? You need gas, yeah. I'm gonna hopefully drop off just a little bit. Enough to get to the fuel station. I didn't want to pull a trailer all this this way. I think the best part of 360 was the ability to connect to Zoom Zoom Media. Yeah, my friend had that. Uh, hard drive to store music and videos, yes. It is a Tentalisser? I don't know how you say that either. Great adventure game, okay. Um, I had to think about this, Kevin. I am... I always forget my age. I'm sure you do, too. I am 33. I turned 34 in November, so I'm like six months older than you. Uh, no, I don't usually stream on the weekends. Usually I'm, like, gone doing other stuff. Gone to a, a friend's house or a, a lady's house. Or a birthday party. Or, you know, watch my brother's kids or sister's kids or whatever. So, I'm usually gone doing something on the weekends. Which, uh, so this weekend, I'm, it's my, um, my, my nephew's birthday, one of my nephews. I said this yesterday, I have, uh, six nephews and six nieces, so it's a pretty big family. But one of my nephew's birthday parties is this weekend, 420, Rex was asking yesterday. Alright, let's refuel. Let's throw in all of the roof rack, and then maybe part of that... Actually, yeah, oh, screw it. We'll just leave it all. It only took me 14 fuel to get here, so I should be fine getting the rest of the way back, I think. Tomorrow you can't get on live? That's fine. I know everyone's got other stuff to do. I totally understand. It's always nice when you are able to make it, but yeah, obviously don't count on uh, every single stream or whatever. You played a lot of PUBG back in the day, okay. Your wife got you Battlefield 3 Shadow Box. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna try and go around this tree. This thing hooked us up last time. I kind of forgot about it. So hopefully the tree root doesn't catch. Oh, and it did. Dang it. Oh, don't tip on me, boy. Okay, there we got over it. Is this hard mode? Yes. Hard mode it is. Winch the truck at the back? That's a good idea, actually. Because it probably won't slow us down too much. Her and I used to play that game high level. Very nice. Um, I wish I could get a photo, or post a photo of it. It's so amazing. The game case and the CD. Well, Kevin, if you join my Discord, I have uh, Well, I have a Discord if you didn't know that, but... If you join the Discord, I have a section there you can post, like, random photos. I tried to sort of section it out by games that most... a few people play. Um, but yeah, there's a section I just have as photos, so it's like kind of just any kind of photos, you know, whatever... as long as they're appropriate, I guess. GG getting that far. Thank you. Appreciate that. 82? Very nice. You played The Division. Okay, 1 and 2. Very nice. Yeah, see, so it seems like everybody... Everybody plays some other games. Well, I mean... A lot of people, I think, play in the same genre. Like, oh, if you play this, you probably play ATS or ETS or, you know, you know... Uh, the, it's, there's, it's linked in the description, Kevin, or... If you go to my channel page, there's like a couple of things across the top, like my, my banner. It's on there as well. It's not usual to get that old. I hope you get 82 more years. Yeah, I think the life expectancy for males in the US, I don't know if you're a male or from the US, but I think it's like 78 years and women are like 82-ish, so you've lived past the average life expectancy, so that is good.
Man, this part is slow. So much work. But yeah, I get, like, so one of the comments I got today on a video was, hey, do you want to play sometime? I'm level 30, you know, something like that. And it's like, I'd love to play with you guys, but I don't have the kind of time to play with all of you guys. Like, there's just too many people. So I have a section on there, I was like, if you want to play with other people, like, there's other people who have, are also looking for other people that you could play with. I know somebody asked me, I think it was yesterday as well, or two days ago, I don't know, I get asked quite often, and it's like, I can't, you know, like, I'd love to, but I can't, it's just too much, too much to play with a bunch of you guys, like, maybe once in a while, like, someone said if you did, like, a raffle or something, you know, but if I were to play with one, you kind of have to play with two, and then three, and... Oh boy, this is going to take forever. Oops. I'm going to take these trucks one by one, because this is going to take a long time. Okay, you joined. Welcome, Kevin. Uh, sounds good. You got to go take a shower. I will see you, not tomorrow, because you said you're not going to be on. Maybe on Monday's stream. So maybe see you Monday. Thanks for stopping in. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day and weekend, since we're not seeing you tomorrow. Actually, I think I need to get, uh, I think I need large pipes for the other map as well. I remember I need one, I'm pretty sure. So I could even go back and grab two more. Uh, you can just throw them in the photos, Kevin. That's kind of like the catch-all. If it doesn't have a section, just throw them in the, uh, the photo one. Or I guess you could put it in general, too. That'd be fine. But yeah, I kind of just made that one to hopefully... ...kind of keep the, uh, the general more to... ...like, on-topic stuff, I guess? I don't know. You going to shower by? Alright, sounds good. This is so brutal. It's just so slow. If you guys know me, I hate going slow. I can't stand it. I know it's a very slow-paced game, but... For some reason, going super slow drives me nuts. Jeez, almost three grand for that. That's not even two, That's not even 300 liters. My wallet hurts. Daniel, you're gonna go? Alright, sounds good. Thanks for stopping in, Daniel. Have a good rest of your day or night, and... See you again probably tomorrow. If not, sometime soon. It's kind of weird how it's like it's just a black spot. Oh, you know what? I bet you I had my truck stuck here at the start of the stream. That's probably why. You're back. How did the, uh, was it table? I forgot what you said. Something. Build something. Best live, number one best live. Bye, JJ. Thank you, Alfredo. I don't mind it. I hate going slow due to mud or snow, though. Yeah, that's true. I don't mind going slow if I'm just, like, you know, if I'm going slow across, like, this rock or something. But if I'm going slow because it's mud or snow that's making me go slow, it's like, oh, come on. Like, basically, if I don't have control, if it's, like, a solid surface like this and I'm going slow, that's fine. It's when, uh, it's when I'm just, I don't have a choice to go slow, like this part. But, yeah, when you're loaded down like the other truck was, dragging through mud, then it's, like, super slow. Actually, why do I, I don't need to bring this... Well, I guess I need to come back for my fuel, but... I was going to say, I don't really need to bring this truck here, do I? Alright. Oops. Pushing all the wrong buttons. Okay, let's go... Yeah, down the road here. Oops. Actually, I don't know why I marked that. I don't need to mark. I know where I'm going.
Yes, we finished expeditions uh, two days ago, I think. Yeah, two days ago. Uh, we got to 99.99% on stream. I had missed one upgrade. And apparently I drove right past it, right above it, right below it. And I didn't see it on either time, or maybe I, maybe I saw it on stream and said I'd come back for it or something, but I didn't drive close enough to where it would pop up. So basically you have to drive like right into it. And I must not have scanned the radar out in that section, probably because it was already revealed. So yeah, I was missing one upgrade throughout the entire uh, region, basically. And actually, oh, that was a pretty big hit. And actually, um, I, I was missing one task as well. I didn't, I missed one task. Um, but I found that one earlier on in the stream. I just looked it up where it was. So basically I, I missed two things total I did everything else, and then I needed to look up two things, kind of. Alright, I think this is the road. That one goes to the, uh, the gateway, so... Uh, yeah, we'll throw it out later. I was gonna say I could throw that one out, but we'll throw it out later. I think I might go through the gateway just to unlock that map. Just to have it unlocked now. Maybe, I don't know. I forgot this part's icy. Come on, let me up to the top. Oh no. Okay, I guess we're stuck at the bottom. Here we go. Can't turn going up the hill at all. There we go. I didn't know that sign kind of like illuminated at, at night. That's interesting. New trailer. I don't remember that trailer, but okay. It might be for the the contest over there. I don't remember. Okay, we got some cargo in here and. Stop this. Deliver the large pipe. Oh, I, st I still didn't discover it, even though it's, like, basically discovered. I guess I'll run over here just to grab this to show... Well, actually, yeah, whatever. So we got the contest discovered now. Fuel 8. What do we have to do for that? Bring fuel somewhere, I remember that. Oh, that's right. I, oh, wait, I can check. Bring how much fuel? Hmm. I don't remember how much fuel I need for that. I shall skip it for now. But I know I need to pick up fuel here for... What was it? Some at the farm. Ah, oh, crap. I gotta bring my crane in a little bit closer. I always forget to do this. That is a weird... Uh, pickup zone, I guess you could call it. I don't remember what they're called. Loading zone. Oh, it only has fuel. Okay, what was the... Here, build additional farmhouses. Oh wait, that's not it? What am I thinking of? Fuel for the masses, okay. Two fuel up to the farm, let's do that. Having pizza tonight? I have no idea what we're having. What are you having, Kevin? Fuel for the masses, thank you, South Fang. I knew I needed fuel up there somewhere. I'm just thinking, is there any of these that I need them for? Okay, that's in the garage, that's next map, that's next map. That's what we're doing. That's next map, that's slabs. Do I have slabs anywhere? I don't think I do. 
Oh, over there, okay. So yeah, we've already brought bricks there. We already have the trailer there, we just need to go over here and get a slab at some point. I hate that warehouse too. Alright, let's go. Whoops. I think what I'll probably do is do the contest. And then, because we're already kind of up in that direction. Then we'll go over and grab this slab when we're kind of out in that direction. I don't know, maybe. You're open to have pizza. Oh, jeez. Almost sliding off the road. Usually chicken and vegetables, which is good for the soul. Oh, okay. I gotta remember to throw out this cement here. I don't want to carry this thing around forever. So this has got to go to the next map, so... Right here at this intersection, we'll throw it out. I'm just trying to get my crane closer to it, that's all this is. Oops. Okay, there we go. Mac and cheese, nice. I like mac and cheese. I know it's kind of a kid's food, but... Yeah, I don't mind having mac and cheese. Pepperoni pizza, nice. Daddy is back, shower was in use. Oh, okay. That's funny. Daddy is back. Daddy's here, guys. What is everyone else having? So we got mac and cheese, uh, a hopeful pizza, but probably chicken and vegetables, and a pizza. South Bang, I know it's pretty late for you. Did, what did you eat? If you already had dinner, what did you have? Without the second finished. Um, not sure what that was for. Got to go in that zone at some point. You didn't eat yet? Okay. Some sandwiches, okay. I mean, it's a cheap meal, right? Not expensive to have a couple of sandwiches. My wallet hurts every time I do that. They serve burgers at work tomorrow, so I'll be having that for lunch. Oh, nice. I love burgers. Honestly, I would, I would rather have burgers over a steak. I know a lot of people like steak. I'd, I'd rather have a burger. A good burger is, like, hard to beat. Bacon's one of my favorite foods. You put bacon on a burger? Oof. You too? Nice. It's funny, when... When somebody says BK like that, um, me and my friends, we used to call BK bad kids when we were playing online. So kind of back to that same thing. Steak burger is the best. Oh, you had it in Australia. Very nice. Maybe the Australians know what they're doing. With bacon? Yeah, it's hard to beat that. I also love onion rings. Onion rings and bacon, hamburgers, or cheeseburger, whatever you want to call it. Any kind of burger. And they all kind of go together. Oh, this is killing me. D 
the Aussies make some good food. <clears throat> yeah, I've never been there. The only uh, only country I've been to outside the U.S. is Canada. So, onion rings are epic. I love onion rings. Bacon all day. I think last time, well, I've said this quite a few times that I really like bacon. I think one of the times somebody, I was like, who doesn't love bacon? And there was one person who was like, I don't. I was like, you're the first person I've ever met that said they don't like bacon. Ooh, best place to get a burger. To be honest, I don't really eat out much, so I usually just make them at home with, like, some burger you can get from the store and, you know, saute some onions, some cheese, some bacon, like, whatever whatever stuff you want to put on it. Um, let's see, if you had to go somewhere, I don't know, I've heard Five Guys is pretty good. I've never, never had it. Uh, there's, a, there's a place somewhat near me that, there's a, it's called Val's. Um, supposedly, it's like, it's basically the size of like, I don't know, maybe, maybe an average like bedroom, right? Like a, basically like one small place. It's on a street corner. It's like a super tiny little building. Uh, it's some guy who, he just makes burgers. He makes like 50 of them. And if he's out of his 50, that's it. Like, and that, that place is like super like famous from where I'm from. I shouldn't say super famous, but it's like really well known around the area. It's kind of one of those like hole in the wall places. If you ask the locals, they'll all be like, oh yeah, that's that's a good place to go. But if you ask anybody else from outside here, they're like, never heard of it, dude. But super good. Your country is so large, JJ, it's hard to visit other countries unless you fly across the ocean. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I said it before, like, I mean, you can drive six hours from where I'm from and you get to the Canadian border, you know, like it's, it's quite a, quite a long ways. I have to drive like two hours probably west to get to Wisconsin where Zing's from. Probably another two hours to the, or excuse me, I said that backwards. Two hours to the east to get to where Zing's from, another two hours west to get to North or South Dakota. Just going to another state can be like going to a whole nother country. I mean, depending on how far away they are, there's a lot of different climates and stuff. But yeah, that's that's probably the <clears throat> the main reason why Americans don't really travel is cause, just because there's so much, so many other places you can visit within the United States. You know, you can go all the way up to Alaska and see some mountains, and you can go to Hawaii and see some active, or may maybe somewhat active volcanoes. Um, you know, you can go to Texas, you can go to... I don't know, Colorado or Arizona with like the, the, uh, what is it? The, uh, Grand Canyon couldn't think there for a bit. You know, there's, there's so many different things you could go to. Crazy thing is I could drive six hours and still be in my same province. Yeah. Canada is even worse. They're the second biggest country in the world and they have even less, uh, like, you know, states here, but provinces. Don't forget about territories, too. That's true. You can go to, like, Guam or something. Puerto Rico. Yeah, there's lots of places you can go. And like I said, I'm, I live in, like, I think Minnesota's, like, the... I want to say, like, the... 12th biggest by, by land area, so I'm not even in, like, the biggest, you know, even close to the biggest state. We're, like, not, not even top 10. But still, you can drive for hours in any direction and still be in the same state. So it's kind of crazy. I think, uh, I saw this the other day when someone made a comment about the size of Texas, uh, 
the entirety of Poland can fit inside of Texas. You in, like you can still have to drive to get to the borders of Texas. Like, you know, it, it's weird to think about. And Poland's not super tiny, but it's also not super big. Alaska is the biggest landmass wise. Yeah, Alaska's. Oh, oh, don't fall. Alaska's much bigger than Texas. And I think. I don't remember if Texas is second or if it's California, but yeah, both Texas and California are pretty large. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, it's a lot easier for us in Europe since the countries are so close to each other. That's true, too. There are places that seem like another country, that's true. Yeah, like you go, like for me to, to see like the deserts in Arizona or like California or New Mexico or something, like that's totally different than anything around here. It's just whack, you know? Or like the mountains, like Colorado or Wyoming, Montana. Like, we, I don't have any mountains around here. Blaine says, I've only been to two other states, Wisconsin and South Dakota. Because I hate traveling. <clears throat> who's been to the most countries of anybody here? Let's see who's been to the most. I definitely haven't. I'm at one. Well, one other country. Zing, have you have you traveled a, a bit? Or selfing? I know you said you've been to Australia. That's at least one. I'm assuming you've been to Finland and some of the other surroundings. Finland, Sweden, maybe Denmark. I don't know. Oh, Kevin, you went to Hawaii. Nice. They have like 95% of existing biomes in the world. It was amazing. That's crazy. But yeah, my sister lives in Hawaii, so... Actually, speaking of that, she texted me this morning. I forgot to reply. I just remembered right now. <laughs> Hopefully she's not watching. What was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, so like you can go there and like they, they went to a mountaintop, right? Where there was snow. And then later on that day they went surfing at the beach. So that's crazy. Like. That's so weird to think about. Like, they were wearing, like, winter jackets and hats because it was super cold out. And then later on, they're in the in the water, you know, like, sitting in bikinis on the beach. Like, what the heck? That's just weird. Selfing? You've been to 10 or 15. That's crazy. That's really cool. Still want to travel some more? Around 50 when you were sailing. Oh, wow, Zeb. That's awesome. Dang, you should visit her. Hawaii was amazing. I spent my whole time snorkeling. Nice. Yeah, I've never been to Hawaii. I've been to 18 states. That's one of them I haven't been to. I'm going to try and go to the side here. I don't want to hit that big rock. That's going to slow me down quite a bit. Uh, I've never been, they always tell me I should go, but obviously right now I'm not working and don't really want to spend money if I don't have to. <laughs> but it would be fun to expand it to 19 states. I've also never flown before. I drove to all those states. Well, not myself, but road trip. Zeb, what were, what were some of your favorite ones? I don't know how much time you spent on them if you were sailing, but I'm sure you probably at least, you know, got off and explored a little bit, maybe? I don't know. I guess I don't even know how that works, but... Would be interested to find out. You're in the middle of nowhere. It's hard to believe you're still in the United States.
Yeah, I live, uh, I live in the middle of nowhere. Here, actually, here's, here's a random thing. Did you guys know that there's an airport that is actually on the border of United States and Canada? Literally, you, you, you can land the plane, and by the time you stop on the other side of the runway, you're into Canada. Or other way around, you come, you land in Canada, and by the time you stop, you're up into, or down into the United States. There's a, there's a, uh, an airport that is right on the border of Minnesota and Canada. It's called Piney, Piney Pine Creek or something like that. Look it up. <laughs> is that not the weirdest thing in the world? Oh, not the weirdest thing in the world, but is that not super weird? Caribbean was great. Okay. Sounds like a mini putt place. Yeah, kind of does. Mini golf or putt putt, mini putt. It's pretty unique. Yeah, it's uh, apparently it was made during World War II. And it was because we couldn't... For some reason, I don't remember what exactly it was. We weren't... We didn't want to supply somebody with some kind of supplies, right? And so what we would do is we would land the plane in the United States because we didn't want to fly it into Canada or something. And then we would just basically hand it off to the Canadians. I think it was warplanes. I think we would land warplanes and then they would push the planes across and then the Canadian pilots would just take the plane and go fly it to whoever we were whatever ally we were bringing it to so we didn't we didn't fly any planes into Canada we would land them on the border and basically drive them across and then the Canadians would take them and fly them to wherever they were supposed to go something like that pretty weird but yeah now you know I guess don't don't take my word for it. Look it up, but something like that, something along those lines. I just remember it was something with World War II, and we they didn't want the United States to do something, and so we, we basically just delivered it to Canada and let them do it. Did I just see floating beams? Uh, you saw floating bricks. Where is it? The Dan. Yeah, floating bricks. They were right here. But I drove past it, and they they shot out, and that's where they stopped. So, yeah, floating bricks. Hey, JJ, how are you doing today? Doing good, Brandon. How about yourself? Zeb said, we have a town that one half is Dutch, the other is Belgium. Uh, where is that, Zeb? You looked it up, it's a putt-putt place? That's funny. Uh, yeah, I think it's called like Piney Pine Creek or Piney... I remember it's Piney something. Put like Piney Pine, Pine Airport, Minnesota or something like that. I remember it says Pine twice. Piney and Pine, Pine Creek, Pine something. Daddy's back again because the Wi-Fi is gone. Oh, so you, I was going to say, how are you using the Wi-Fi then? But you're, you're probably on your phone. Yep, on the phone? Okay. Kinda what I thought. I'm still thinking about the start of this stream, man. That, that climb. Oof. That was probably the worst thing I've ever had to do in this game.
I'm gonna have like nightmares of that climb. Did you know there's a place where everybody knows your name? Uh, what do you mean, Kevin? Oh, they're not packed. There we go, fuel for the masses is done. You know what I just realized? I should go get those short logs right now. Before I get all my other trucks done with this region, I should probably go get short logs. Where's my step? Oh, shoot, I don't... Bummer. Cheers, a bar in Boston? Ain't that from a song? Because this is the only one that can have... Oh, wait, no, the Zix can do short logs, too. I need to bring this one back, too. I need to go get short logs before I get all my trucks out of this area. I know I still got a lot of stuff to do here, but... I want to get those logs done so that when I finish everything else, we're not stuck doing a bunch of logs. You know. I basically don't want to have the vehicle sitting around... Um, in, like, in case I flip, I want to have them on this map, not... Oh, no. Whoops. Sorry, Actian. All right. You picked up short logs from Cherno. Yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna go too. Sure no. But the thing is I wanna get I wanna get all of my vehicles into Cherno. Like at this you know, once we're done with this one, done with this map. Oh dang, it's so slow. So I wanna be able to finish all of the logs that I need before I go to Cherno, so that way I can just move all of my vehicles to Cherno and basically not have to worry about bringing anything else in, you know? So if I were to flip, then I have all the vehicles in the around surrounding area kind of. Not sure if that makes a lot of sense, but I don't want to be, I don't want to have one vehicle flip over that's like two maps away. I know in this case it wouldn't happen because it'd only be one map, but yeah, that's all. All right, let's go. Uh, I've never been out of the U.S. I've been to Minnesota quite a few times, and Illinois a couple of times, though. Derek, you're from uh, Wisconsin, correct? You'll get all 50 points from Gryffindor. Uh, steering Ted Dan... Danson? Like the Tuz 16, um, can we make a GMC run for the whole... Wait, can we make a GMC run for the whole game next time, but the GMC on the bad tires, please? I don't think I'm going to be doing a GMC bad tires run anytime soon, but maybe somebody else would want to. I'm thinking about doing a small trucks run. Like a... a what would it be? Acteon, Warthog, uh, Tatra 805, Zix 566A, those kind of things doing a run with one of those, or even scouts. I think an all-scout one would be fun. Or all the highways. Um, I wouldn't probably restrict it to just the GMC, because I think that would be almost boring with just one vehicle. Like, sure, it'd be a challenge, but I don't know. That doesn't sound very fun to me. Tuz 16, yep. Tuz 16, Tuz 108, uh, 566A, 805. I feel like I missed one, but... Oh, the, the uh, 3364, the crocodile. Forgot that one. Maybe even the 5368 as a smaller... Uh, 
What am I trying to say? 5368 is like a, it has a one slot add-on for a lot of stuff. So we could do that maybe. Yeah, this, this, um, this playthrough here, Alfredo, we started this about a year ago. We started back in, I think it was the end of April. I remember one of my first streams was like April 24th or something last year. So almost, almost an entire year ago, we started this, uh, hard mode playthrough. I can probably leave the Acteon around here somewhere, I think, I don't know. South thing, do you know if you can get wood planks in um, in Cherno? Is there any spot to get wood planks there? Or anybody else really, but I don't think I can get wood planks on this map, can I? I already used up all the ones I think I could. I'm not sure where I can get the next wood planks at. I know I can get some back in Erska River. I don't want to go there, but I might have to. Yeah, so we've been working at this this specific hard mode for about a year. I mean, obviously not every day or not... Not even every week. You don't remember? Sorry, that's fine. I wouldn't expect you to. Just as curious if anybody did happen to know. No, but you can make them at the sawmill when you unlock it. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Did I change that truck off? Actually, I should probably fix it as well. Uh, repair. Actian has no damage. Really? Oh, I already did fix it when I drove past. That's right. Okay, so on the other map... Um, yeah, when you fix the, the Cherno uh, sawmill, I can get them. Okay, that's fine. Alfredo says south, which map don't or which map you don't like in SnowRunner? Hmm. Tennessee. Tennessee I don't like. Nicholas Cage. Good job, thank you, uh, Alfredo. Alfredo, I don't I don't really don't know how you say your name. I feel bad. I feel like I should just say Alfred. Alfred. Hello ATL, how are you doing today? Me too. So we finally, we climbed up that hill that was glare ice. But I was like the most nervous I think I've ever been, well for sure I've ever been on this game. South Bank's doing Tennessee right now. It's rougher than he expected. It's not the terrain that I don't like. It's the the races and the fact that all the cargo comes from one spot other than fuel, which is bottom right corner, and then the solar panels, which, which spawn in the river. Other than that, every single cargo you have to grab in the same spot. And I just, I don't like running up and down and up and down the same, same road like every... I mean, you can go different roads, obviously, but... Basically, it's the same road over and over and over. And I, I don't know, it was kind of boring to me. What are you going to do uh, to celebrate being done with your playthrough? I don't know. I mean, we'll probably play through again. <laughs> I know it probably sounds stupid, but I'll probably do like a small trucks or an all highways or a all scouts playthrough. But, I don't know, we'll probably play some other games as well. Maybe some American Truck Sim if I end up... I'd like to get more maps and stuff, but... It's, yeah, it's really... It's kind of quite expensive. Um, let me refuel here. I think for all the stuff I wanted for American Truck Sim, it was like... I want to say it was like 105 or $107 or something like that. So it was quite expensive. Well, not quite expensive, but... Yeah, um, I'd like to get American Truck Sim. I'd also like to get, they're making a new Microsoft Flight Sim. I think it'd be really cool if you had like all the controls and stuff for that. Play Microsoft Flight Sim, Farming Simulator. Um, 
I think like even ranch sim. Um, so you guys know on my channel, there's uh, I used to play Gold Rush the game. They recently renamed it to Gold Gold Mining Simulator, and they also came out with a new DLC. Apparently the DLC was bad, and they got a bunch of bad reviews, and they're like came out and were like, oh, we're sorry, blah, 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 like, we were trying to meet deadlines and this and that, we should have focused more on the quality or whatever, but, um, I don't know why I went into that actually, but, FS22, yes. But yeah, I have like, uh, I think Lumberjack Sim, I have, uh, shoot, I got turned right. I also have... Ranch Simulator? That one's... Those are both pretty fun. Ranch Sim is kind of like FS. FS22. Okay, let's change this to... Sh Actually, I should go rescue my Tuz first. Let's do that. Kind of forgot about that. I gotta go get my Tuz. Try all scouts and scout trailers only. Yes, that's the plan, Ian. That is the plan. Although, like I said, there would be some where we would have to break that. Such as... If you needed a a certain saddle load trailer. I don't know if there is. I know... So, for example, in Season 12, there's the saddle low... Uh, the Cat 770G trailer, right? So there are some which we would have to break it to get at least a, a somewhat bigger truck to go get. Um, and then also you'd need saddle high. You'd also need a seismic vibrator. Like, there would be a couple of points where we would need bigger trucks, but we would complete, like... 95% of the game with all scouts. That would be the goal. If it's even possible, I don't know, but that would be the goal. Complete everything possible with scout trucks. I think that that would be a fun, uh, interesting playthrough. And some of them, we would also need a short log carrier. I kind of forget if I said that, but medium logs we could deliver with the uh... F750 or burlac and then long logs we'd have to use a different truck for that as well but yeah we would we could narrow it down to only a, a couple of trucks as far as other trucks like maybe you say you only get the Acteon, you only get the crocodile and you only get one truck that can do seismic and short logs you know something like that because we'd have the long long logs covered settle high and settle low covered and then Yeah, in Season 10. So yeah, we got options. There's uh, a lot of different things we could do, but... I don't really plan on, on celebrating too much, but... I mean, it kind of depends how quickly we go through it too, right? Because if we get to the end of hard mode, and it's only Season 13, like, I doubt that would happen, but... If it did happen... Um, We'd have to wait for 14, and then wait for 15, and wait for 16, but I don't... I have a feeling it's going to take us quite a while before we're able to get to, you know, Season 13, so... I don't... Oh, shoot, I missed my turn. Crap, I'm on the wrong road. Uh, okay. Yeah, definitely messed up. Okay. Um... Yeah, I, I think we'll have quite a bit to do. So by the time we actually get to Season 13, probably 14 and 15 and maybe even 16 would be out then. So, I mean, we might be able to get all the way through the entire game. Um, yeah, they might add more. I think this might be the last year. But I could be wrong. But yeah, either way, we got a long way to go, so... I think if we if we happen to finish, like, let's say we, we got all the way up to 13 and finished it, I'd probably start playing a little bit more other games. More like Farming Simulator or ATS or, you know, some other stuff. But I'd probably start that playthrough of uh, another hard mode. And I'd probably just play it less. Maybe we do, like, twice a week or, you know, something like that. I'm gonna refuel here again. I'm trying to get that truck low. Let's see if that's close enough. Nope. I'm trying to get that truck low so I can go refuel it because it's getting getting close. 
Oh, 300 still? Yikes. I like Call of Duty. Yeah, I play some other stuff. I, I mean, I have Call of Duty on the channel. I wouldn't say it was very popular at all, but... I enjoy playing some other games. That's why I like playing the story games, because then I can I can beat it, you know. Ozzy Osbourne. Need to play Beam NG Career Mode. I've never played Beam. I don't have that game either, but... I've seen some stuff about it. Quite a, quite a few videos of people, like, crashing cars, and... The physics and stuff on there are really cool. So yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably switch over and start playing a little bit more other stuff, like American Truck Sim, Euro Truck Sim, Farm Sim, Ranch Sim, you know, kind of some other... Most of them are driving related, but I'd probably, you know, get a little bit more away from Snowrunner. I'd probably play like once a week or something. Oh wait, I forgot I have that truck over there. Probably get away from the... not get away from Snowrunner, but like play a little bit less, and I'd probably start a whole new hard mode with like all scouts. That's... That's probably what I'm going to end up doing, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Wreckfest. Yeah, I've seen people play that one as well. Never played it myself, but I've seen um, I've seen a couple people play it. So yeah, Wreck Wreckfest could be thrown in there, probably Beam. Like, There's a bunch of other games that I'd probably dabble with here and there. and You know, still play SnowRunner, but I probably wouldn't play it to the same extent once we beat this hard mode probably start a brand new one, and that would be the, the sort of go-to one. Alright, I don't know what's the play here, but... Maybe I can grab the front and swing it around? I know, let's just flip it over backwards. Here we go. Actually, that was kind of what I was thinking. Grab the front and sl swing it around. That might work. And there we go. All right. Tuz is rescued. Perfect. Yeah, I would. I would probably do like two videos a week of Snowrunner, and then I'd play like three three videos of other games. Could be Farm Sim once, and then. ATS once and ETS once and the next week maybe do ranch sim and farm sim and you know I would say one to two videos a week would still be SnowRunner, but it wouldn't be the current of like five you know all right let's get that crane back let's go back and get the short log add-on now good job thank you Corey Taylor, who is that? I've never heard of that name. I've, I've heard of like everyone you've mentioned so far, but I've never heard of Kayler, Corey Taylor. I actually... Wait, do I have Contraband Police? I know I've played it. I think I might own it. I, I know... I've played the demo for sure. Did I complete the task? Yes, Lonnie. I was literally sweating. Like, I had... I had sweat running down my arm. That's how nervous I was. Because, like, I, f I felt it, like, rolling down my arm as I was playing, and I was like, oh my god, I'm literally sweating. That's how nervous I was. My hands were just on fire. Corey Taylor is a singer in Slipknot. Okay. Thank you for that South thing. I didn't know that. LOL. Um, yeah, I for sure played Contraband Police, but I, again, I don't know if it was the demo or if I actually own it. I can't remember. I'm kind of looking at the side of my... Uh, oh, Construction Simulator. That's another one, too. I might go back and play some more of that. I have that game. I have a lot of DLCs for it. I just... Once the uh, Spaceport DLC came out, I started a new game because I thought I needed to. And I... I apparently didn't, and I never went back and replayed uh, replayed the stuff that I needed to, for the six hours that I spent. Yeah, we'll probably do a little bit of logging. I don't know how long we'll, uh, we'll play for. Usually we end 
at 5, 5.30, which is like half hour to an hour, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get the logs, get all the way out there, and save it for tomorrow. What is that road? I don't even think I've ever noticed that road. Oh, that one. Okay. 40, 42 watching, 43 likes. Thank you. Uh, what route did we take? Here, I'll show you. We went into here. Oops, well, I can't, yeah, the, the blue marker is going to, actually, here, I'll do this. I'll start it over here. So that way it's not like cutting across here. So then we went this way. Into the trees here. Up through here. All the way up to like this point. And there, obviously keep in mind there's some ridges in here, right? And then I had to back back down over here onto the rock. Then turn a little bit. We went through here. And then I think we went up. And I think it was this way. And then we got up here, we had to turn, because this, this rock was blocking us from going the rest of the way. So we had to turn, go through here, and then drop it off. So that was the route. All of that to avoid buying chain tires, recovering, and buying new vehicles. So yeah, very interesting route. But if you guys want to try, without, without chain tires, I would recommend going that route. You got to head out South Fang? Sounds good. I appreciate you stopping by as always. Have a good rest of your night and maybe see you tomorrow. You are welcome for the stream. Thanks as always for stopping in. 44 likes. Hello Runner Maniacs. Welcome in Pax1. 43 right likes Robert, thank you. 44 now from Pax. Appreciate it guys. 44 likes, 44 viewers, interesting. I know obviously not all of them smash the like button, but, you know. It's kind of funny that the number actually lines up. But yeah, it was, a, it was a very tough route, Lonnie. Obviously you were here for the fails yesterday, trying to climb the right side and climb, trying to climb straight up. So, yeah, we had to, we had to uh, come get creative with the route for sure. I must have had a vehicle or a trailer over here earlier. That's why the ground's flashing. Hang on a second, do I need medium logs too? Okay, solid rock, ground control, no. Lift off, no. Covered in smoke, that's Cherno. 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 Cherno, Cherno. Okay, don't need any of those. That's all Cherno. I know all those are Cherno. Okay, nothing, nothing. That's Cherno again. That's Cherno. That's Cherno. Okay, so we don't need any medium logs in this map. I don't, actually, let me check here. Okay, we need shorts. Shorts, wood planks. Okay, that's it. Oh, 45 and 46. Well, thank you, Alfredo. Appreciate it. And the, uh, the people who smack the little like button, or big like button, or whatever you want to call it. Good job, that was an interesting route. Yeah, definitely interesting. I Like I said, if, if you want to go back and watch it, Lonnie, I was literally sweating. Like, I had sweat running down my arm. I was so nervous, because I was like, if I flip over my truck, I am done. I am totally done. I either have to, to buy a new truck, which would break one of our rules, or we'd have to... Um, what was the other thing I said? We'd have to buy a new truck, we'd have to buy chain tires, or we'd have to recover. I, I knew I'd have to break one of them if I, if I screwed it up, so I was like, please don't screw this up. Have you ever thought about playing Planet Coaster? I've never heard of the game, Kevin. No cap chat. Uh, how many people are watching and playing SnowRunner at the same time? That's a good question. From Mr. Morgan. Anybody? Playing and watching. I think I'm gonna hook up to this. Actually, yeah, whatever.
So what I, I'm gonna try to bring two trailers with me while I'm going there. Because I know I don't need any more medium logs here. I know I'm gonna need the trailer, or at least I, I probably will use it. And that's why I wanna bring oops, this trailer. Actually, I know for sure I need the long one, so I probably should bring that one, but. Oh well, I guess. Robert, you are nice. Oh, Kevin's playing Expeditions, okay. Mr. Morgan, are you? I just realized, no, I'm calling you Mr. Morgan. I got a Mr. Spoon and Mr. Morgan. I'll call you Captain Morgan. There we go. Captain Morgan. Oop. You are too? Nice. Okay, so we got Robert, Captain Morgan. Actually, we could call him Captain Robert too. Captain Robert, Captain Morgan, and Captain Kevin? Just call everyone Captain now. Uh, Kevin's playing Expeditions though. Good game, yeah. Oh wait, let's refuel quick. Get the last of the... F uh, got too close. There we go. There's only one captain and it's me. Just finished your last expedition in Arizona. Nice. How much you got left in Carpathians? Anything? Or are you 100% now? I said this yesterday. Uh, did you notice that on that game, your percentage, your overall percentage, is... Uh, it, it has a, a explored regions percent. I don't remember where, where you can see it. But there is a, a spot where you have an explored regions percent, and basically you can 100% everything in the game, and if you don't have the maps all 100% explored, you still don't have 100% completion. Isn't that crazy? They want you to literally explore 100% of all the maps as well for a total 100% completion. Iraq, Kuwait, Canada, um... Ireland, layover. Germany, Hungary, layover. Uh, something like 38 or... Wow, that's a lot of states. 38 or so states. Have you ever thought about playing F1 Manager? I have not, Kevin. Well, actually, I have seen it. Uh, I do own F1 22. Or, I think it's 22. I played one of them, but... I just... The, the problem with me in racing games is I'm 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 a bad driver. I'm like too competitive to the point that I'll crash into other vehicles and I feel bad like I'm cheating. Like I I can't I can't race a clean race. I just I'm not good enough or I'm too competitive. One of the two. I'm not sure which one it is. Probably both. So I I I just I can't really play racing games. But no F1 manager is more of a like, you manage the drivers, not exactly race yourself, so... I've never... I've seen it before, I thought it looked fun, but I've never really thought about it much. Um... You said yes, you like that? And have I ever played... Oh! Yikes. Uh, we'll leave it there. For now. We moved it. Um, what was, is the expedition game any good? It, it's, I would say it's very dependent on if you like exploring. If you don't like exploring, probably not. I think it's fun to, you know, use scout vehicles and not have roads and kind of drive around, like, wherever, but it is pretty repetitive. And if you don't like scouting, I would say it's probably going to get boring pretty quickly. They, they do have some delivery, but not... Uh, not very much in all the delivery. You have to start with it at your base, basically. So you don't, like, go somewhere and pick it up. You, you start with it. Uh, okay, so Wreckfest is the perfect game for you. Yeah, I could definitely play Wreckfest. Wreckfest is more my kind of game. Like, 
I love racing. I think they're really fun. I'm just... Oh, there goes the bricks. I'm just a little bit too competitive that I, I always crash. I can't have a clean race, so... I just feel like I'm not... I shouldn't be playing racing games. No, no way. You got 13 out of 37 on the other map. Okay. I'm doing good, Bryce. How are you doing? Have you heard, JJ, there's a game called Manor Lords? I have. Would that be your type of game? Um, I saw... Who did I see? Uh, T. Martin 2. He's a famous YouTuber. He has like 5.7... Or 5 point something million. I think it's 5.2. Um, I saw that he had played it, but I didn't watch it. I've never... I actually have it on my wish list, but... Um, I haven't really looked into the game too much, but I do feel like that would be a game that I would play, yes. It's like a s sort of an, uh, what is it? Like a Oldern... Oldern? I don't know how that was a word. Uh, Olden... Like an olden time city builder, something like that. Which does seem like something I'd be, I would play. Breakfast is my baby. The perfect racing game. Uh, hey JJ, sorry, haven't been here in a bit. Started a new job a couple weeks ago. Glad you're glad you were able to tune into this episode and are well. Yeah, this was a very interesting one, Nick. If you want to check the start, I know I said this quite a few times now, but the start of this episode where we climbed that pure ice hill, actually I still have it marked. This was our route. Because Lonnie just asked. This is how we got up that pure ice hill. We had to get all the way to like right here to deliver it. And this hill is just pure ice all the way up. And this path is ice from about here. Actually, kind of, kind of can see it, where it's like really dark. From here to about here is pure ice. Now, there are trees, so you can get all the way up to about here. But from this point, there's that tree is too far. There's no trees on your left side. Well, a little breakable one. So there's, there's nothing you can do from here all the way up to about right here. So yeah, we had to get really creative. Yesterday, we tried to go up this way and flipped up here somewhere uh, and then we also went up this way and got to this point started going up this and then flipped so yeah we had to get very creative for that that route to work out so if you guys are looking for some interesting gameplay team run 2 5.29 yeah he's a trevor martin's a good good person to watch um medieval type game jj truck or car pick one i would pick a truck I currently drive a car, but if you gave me the option and said you can have either one, I'd probably take a truck for sure. Yes, and I join and said daddy's here. <laughs> yeah, so the start of this stream was very, very interesting. I was... my hands were on fire. They were just sweating. It was... Uh, I knew if I failed, I would probably have to break one of my... one of my... Uh, challenges which would be we would either have to recover or we would have to buy a new vehicle or we would have to get chains one of the three because there was no way we'd be able to recover get up there and flip over the vehicle and get it delivered without buying chains buying another vehicle or uh recovering the vehicle depending on like if it got really stuck i don't know how we would get it out you know so Luckily, we didn't flip over way up there somewhere, and we're able to finish it, which is... Now I believe we can get all the rest of the game done. Unless Season 15 throws a big curveball with uh, ice, I think we should be able to beat the entire rest of the game without using chains, and without recovering, because we've gone through the hardest parts of this game now. For anybody who's kind of new to the stream, or just tuning in, or whatever, we... We've already beat uh, Northern Ages Installation to 100%, and we beat Erska River to 100%. And now we've done the hardest missions on this map. So it's just the easier... well, not, not all the hardest ones, I take that back. There's still... there's a couple of them, but I don't think they're like... If you tip over, you're screwed kind of hard. Like, you can tip over, but you can still get back there and, and rescue yourself. Um, I'm, I'm specifically thinking of getting this... this vehicle. Because this... This little pond... oh, it's not here. It's it's further out here somewhere. There's a little pond, and you have to, like, turn and go up it, and it's icy. I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked at it too deeply to see if there's a way around. I'm pretty sure there is, but there's a couple of somewhat hard spots of stuff we still have to do. But I'm not, like, worried if I flip that I'm just screwed, so... 
Yeah, we got the one super bad, super icy, like, worst part of the game out of the way. 51 watching, 48 likes. Thank you. Appreciate that, Robert. What brand? Um, I currently drive a Ford. I have a Ford Fusion. I bought it uh, 10 years ago, actually. A little over 10 years ago. That's crazy. That's so weird to think about. My car is already that old. Um, good job, Captain Rob. That's funny that he called you Captain. Oh, you know what? I should have brought... Actually, that's fine. I was gonna say I should have brought the, the other trailer with the... Oh no, I don't have... I don't have this... I don't have the... Um, I don't have the sawmill complete yet. I can't get small planks out of there yet. Hmm... I think I'm gonna have to complete that sawmill before I move on. Oh no, no. Yeah, it's easy the rest of the way. I mean, Season 5 is not too bad. Season 6 kind of rough starting out without your garage and stuff, but we should be fine there. Um, season 7... I mean, there are there is one... one of the Actually, some of the races I am kind of worried about in Season 7, to be honest. Not about time, it's the ones in that quarry pit. We have to use the right vehicle for those, or else we, we could be really stuck. How's the percent moving? Uh, we're at 57 now. So I think yesterday we were at 51 at the start of the stream. We got like 3%-ish yesterday, 3% today. We still have a couple of really easy ones, Zing, like... Let's see. Um, this picturesque one. I, I have to hit up, hit these two points. And like, I have a vehicle right here, which is, you know, could easily hit that. Uh, this one's pretty close to that one, which could easily hit that. Um, the rest of them are... So this one I have to bring a few supplies, which we're starting to do. This one, just a vehicle. One wood plank, but I don't have any more planks here. So this is the one I'm kind of thinking about right now. Um, misadventure, I gotta get the Dawn out of here. And then I gotta bring one more trailer from... here. Bring that down to the town. We also gotta get this truck. I don't remember where it has to go. I think it might be down to the town as well. But, um, yeah, we're getting starting to make some good progress now. We got the hardest stuff out of the way. Super happy about that. I think it'll be a little bit slow for the next little, little bit here, but not crazy slow. Uh, just because we're going to try and get these three logs done to get that out of the way. And then I think, like I said, next episode I'm going to plan to launch the... Ro oh, wait, no. Not launch the rocket. I still got to do... Actually, yeah, we could. We could launch it next episode. Because I have to bring... Uh, concrete slabs. Which, that's fine. That's on this map. We can get that. Getting back there sucks, but we can get that. Um, and then... What was the other thing we had to do? Oh, that's it. We have, we have the bricks already there. We have the trailer already there. We'd, we'd get the slab. So yeah, all we have to do is bring that, and then we could... We could launch the uh, rocket. 15 years in. There you go. He said he's a retired ex merchant Navy captain. This is slow. I know we've already gone through here a few times too. I'm driving directly towards it. 
There we go. Isn't it weird? Like, it's not, not even moving really much faster. It's just so slow in this part. There we go. Alright, if you guys had to guess, this is stream number 18 in Amir. How many more streams do you think it'll take us to beat Amir? So it took 18 to get to this point, which we're at 57%. But we did do all the hard stuff, or most of it. Like I said, there's a lot. Uh, there is a bunch of missions, block alpha, block beta, block gamma, which have a ton of cargo in the next map, but they're not hard, they're just a lot of deliveries. Chat is looking good, 49 likes, very nice. Glad you guys are enjoying the stream. Actually, I should probably go back there and grab that vehicle with this right now. Hmm. Maybe later. 1300 for that. Ouch. 10 more for... 10 more for what? 60? It feels so weird to drive this thing around, like, you know, I was just using the step and the Taiga for quite a while. This thing is just flying through here. I know the uh, other vehicles would as well on that part, but... Let's keep going here. Ten more videos? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because I just asked about how many. Ten more? Okay. It went down now? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, some people like to play around with the like button. They push it, they take it away, push it, take it away. Like, Especially once once you mention it, uh, people like to like have like two or three people kind of playing games. Like, you know, three of them will push up and then they'll all take their vote away and then take it back and just watch it fluctuate. So... Yeah, once you kind of bring notice to it, especially on a live, it kind of goes up and down. All I gotta say is... If you want to see some interesting stuff, check out the start of the stream. That's that's all there is really to say. That's... That was crazy. Alright, here we go. We cleared the blockage. Oh, wow. That tree was not having any of that. Wow. It wasn't even like the the big end of the tree is the small part. <laughs> it went up now. 44 watching, 48 likes, yeah. Alright, first time going to Cherno, guys. Never been here yet. Well, not in this playthrough. Uh, I should have attached another truck to make, make the loading screen one less time, but oh well. I try to be productive with the loading screens. You know what's funny is I I came in here, I don't even remember where the short log station is. I think it's here? Hang on, let me track it, see, oh. Let's, oops, let's go to Cosmo, um, build abandon, there we go. It's not even going to show me, okay. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's where it is, so I guess let me adventure on, I guess. Oh wait, I forgot, I still have so many roadblocks to clear here. Oh my gosh. That might be trouble. I kind of forgot about the road roadblocks. Yikes. For some reason I was thinking I could just come in here and go and get what I need, but I kind of totally forgot about the roadblocks. Oh well, I guess we'll just keep moving. We'll have to go around them. Or up over them.
Let's see, I, I know... Actually, I think that one might, might be long and mediums. I know for sure it has long. It's either long and short or long and medium. Does anybody know offhand? Oh, actually, there's, a, there's an up icon over there. Oh, that's for, for bricks, probably. Yeah, I remember there's another brick house over there. Alright, so we're dodging the rock slide over to our right down the main road. This bridge is out, so we can't go through here. We gotta go down the river and then across later, but the other bridge is out. Um, yeah, I just have to stay tuned and see. <laughs> I have a plan. I just can't remember which one has the log, uh, meet, uh, short logs. Can't, can't think here. I know one has medium. That's in the north. I know one has long. That's in the south. But I don't remember if either one of them has short. I, I really... I think there's three log stations here. I could think of two for sure. But I know where both, both the two that I'm thinking of are. I feel like there's a third one, though. Maybe I'm losing my mind, guys. This is the problem when you don't come prepared. You don't remember where the heck you're going. You don't remember where you gotta pick up logs at. Uh, I think we'll head south. Um, I don't know, if it is the north one, whatever, we'll go north, but I think also, isn't there a fuel trailer in here? I can top up quick. Yes, I see it. I see you. See you. Oh, it's not full. I did not know that. Okay. Look up a map? Nah. We'll just keep driving. If it's the wrong one, we'll go to the other one. I know how to get to both the two that I'm thinking of. If it's the third one, which I I don't remember if there is a third one, I just feel like there was. But I can't put a spot on where it would be on the map, so I don't... I don't know. Oh wait, this is actually where we gotta go. I was gonna go back to that road, but I'm like, yeah, wait, that's uh... That road is out. The bridge is gone. Yeah, we're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna go to the south one. If it's not there, we'll go to the north one. And if it's not there, then I... Psh, I don't remember where the third station would be if there is one. But I just feel like there was three. I don't know why. And actually, that pickup icon might be where it's, where it's at. What map is this? This is Chernokomensk. So if you take a right there, you go to the logs or uh, lumber mill. Straight up in front of us, there's a bridge, but it's broken. I remember a lot of this, but yeah, we're the uh, third, third. If there is a third, I don't remember where that is. So we are headed to the the south one. Oh wait, we got a pickup bike on way over there. That might be the north one. Oh no, that's the bricks at the warehouse. Okay, never mind. That's the warehouse, I remember that now. You were about to ask if I unlocked the Zix Chan? I unlocked it in episode number two in Amir. This is number 18, so we unlocked it probably like three months ago. It's been a long time. We've taken a big break from the gameplay and expeditions and uh, season 13. But yes, we have the Zix. Gotta be careful on these ice Doritos. These things will blow you right up. So you can cross here. That bridge is out. I think I'm going to follow this all the way down. 
This is not looking good. I feel like the, the icon should have popped up by now. We're close enough to it. They're definitely not here. They're at the north one. Dang it. Because, yeah, it should, it's right through there. It's, it's very close. You also can cross the road right here to the left. But I'm going to go up here and cross on the nice bridge right next to it. Oh, that's a bummer. We went to the wrong one, guys. I thought it was in the south. It's in the north. That makes it much worse, actually, though, because... I... Yeah, I already went all the way down to the south, so now i got to go all the way back north. When we come back, we'll probably just take the north. We'll stay in the north part. Oh wow, my marker is way off. It should be like... Right here, then. Yeah, it's pretty close. Oh yeah, there it is. So there's no pickup icon. There's definitely no short logs here. So I think this is long, or else long and medium. We're gonna check just because I'm here. Oh wait, there's a medium medium log right there. Oh, it's just long. Okay. So there's no point in me carrying the mediums with me. Yeah, so we made a pretty big mistake going to the south first, apparently. Like the now live, I can't talk. Like the live now, are we will make me slowly and mad. Okay, can I go? I think I could go left. Uh, wait, there's a watchtower right in front of me? Oh, nice. I don't remember that one. I think I might go try and get that, because I can't remember the route. I know I can go to the right and go that way, but it would be shorter if I could dodge it. If I could go left, which I know I can go left, but I don't remember if the... I know there's a rock blockage up there somewhere. I think that's the one you can go over, though, easily. All three of those pickup bike guns are bricks. I remember there's two... two warehouses, and then I think a brick... A house, or maybe it was two houses in a, a, a warehouse. Oh wow. Look at the train track, it's so bumpy. Yikes, we're uh, we're climbing, but not, not very well. This is our new scout truck, guys. Oh boy. There we go. Oof, that was nerve-wracking. Did not want to go flying back down that thing. Okay, let's stop quick. Yeah, I think I missed a lot of stuff. Hello, Pavo. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we can probably sneak... Well, definitely we could sneak down this. But this, this part is icy. Where I want to end up going is, like, right here, oops, tried to do an expeditions marker there. It's like right there. So, yeah, I could, I could go down the road. This is the road that I know goes around to it. But 
It might be shorter to go... I'm gonna go down, and then I think I'll take this path. Which kind of stinks. It's gonna be a long one, but... You need the 605R as a scout in the mirror. Nothing else will do. <laughs> JJ Popo just joined. Yeah, I've seen that. That he did. I did, Lopez. Nice. Yeah, I think we'll just go down. We'll just go down this way. It doesn't look too heavily wooded, right? It looks doable. Oh, I shoot my trailer, though. Ah, oh, crap. Mm, I'll leave it for now. I'll come back and get it when we need it. We brought it into here. It's close enough anyways, I guess. Yeah, we're on the last map now. Oh no, Pabo alert! Uh-oh. Well, actually, it looks like you could climb right up this. Possibly, anyways. Dodge the icy part, but... Alright, we'll go through town. We will get some fuel. Didn't say yellow jellos. Uh-oh. He did earlier. He said yellow, but not yellow jello. I'm not even sure if I've ever really drove on this road before, now that I think about it. Slow down a bit here. Um, actually, yeah, I was gonna say never mind. Oh wait, there's the last log station. I found it. I didn't even notice that. So there is three log stations. Okay, well now I already went halfway the wrong way. Shoot. Um, I guess we'll probably just turn, go up to the garage, and go back that way. Dang it. I wish I would have noticed that earlier. <laughs> This is so much better than Expeditions, for sure. I thought there was three. I couldn't remember where the last one was. Now I got it. So there is three. I'm gonna say, I think I'm just gonna turn back around. I know for sure there's logs that way, so... Hello, Mr. Spoon. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, Papa, we got the worst part done now. Um, you probably don't remember, but it's the one I've been talking about since, like, maybe even Kola Peninsula. Uh, Medio Point. That is probably the toughest mission you'll have to do in this game without chains. Although now that I've done it... Um, oh, shoot. Now that I've done it and shown where to go, it might be a little bit easier for other people to do. But I think before, there was just no really good routes to do it. I don't know, maybe somebody else has done a no-chain playthrough all the way, but... I guess I haven't really looked around much, but I don't, I don't believe many people have done a no-chain playthrough, so... Need a hand. Oh wait, so one of those wasn't bricks. It was the log station. I know there's a warehouse, I know there's a house to break down. I thought there was two houses, so it must be... Must be a warehouse, a log station, and a bricks. You'd have to see the mission to remember it. I'll show you when we go back to that map. We'll, we're gonna grab logs and go back that way. haven't been to Amir for a while. Yeah, it's on Cosmodrome. It's on the middle right side of the map. I can show you, like, on the map where it is, but uh, with, without being on the map, I can't show you the map markers. 
so I'll have to go to the map to show you that. No horn? You got a horn? I forgot what this horn sounds like, but it's a pretty good horn. Uh, I know what you mean. Oh, okay. Or I know where you mean. I probably shouldn't be doing dangerous turns like that when I'm nowhere near any of my vehicles. I just thought about this. Does this thing have limited logs? I didn't check. Oh, I mean, that could really bite me if it does. I might have to go all the way to Erska. Okay, so there's the house I remember taken down. That's the warehouse I remember. Or, other house, I guess. I thought it was a warehouse. I thought there was a warehouse here. I got confused, I guess. That was this warehouse, which is not a warehouse yet. Now I remember. It's starting to come back to me. Medium and short. There we go. You have to cross the water and it's on the other side past where the Voron... Uh, wrong side. Wrong side of the map. The upgrade is in the top left corner, Pabo. We're talking about middle right corner. So complete opposite side of the map, basically. You have to go there for two things. A, a task called Medio Point, and then you have to bring a trailer down. Hello, Wild Fox. Welcome to the stream. What's up? Not much. We are getting some logs to go back to uh, Cosmodrome. I kind of want to get this one done, and that way we have Cosmodrome fully complete before we move on. I still have quite a bit to do there, but I wanted to finish this specific task because I have to go all the way here to get the logs. Or all the way to Erska, so... Hope you're all doing great. I think most people here are doing great. Thanks for asking. Uh, is it? It's an all-ice road, and you can hug the, the, the curved road going upright. Um, it's... it's all ice, but you can't hug anything, no. <laughs> You're th I'll show you... Here, I'll pause it. I was trying to keep moving so I could show you when I'm not... When I'm actually on the map. You're thinking of this road, Pabo. Right here. This is the road. It's it's all ice and it's kind of curving going up. Right? It's the upgrade you're thinking of is way over here. That's like right in this spot somewhere. This is the top left corner of the map. I gotta turn a little bit. There we go. The spot I'm talking about is over here. You have to pick up a trailer here and drop off one um, fuel, I think it was. Fuel or oil. This road is pure ice. And there's there's a couple of trees to help you like part of the way up, but then this tree is really far to the right, and then this tree is even further to the right. And like you... There's no trees on this left-hand side to really grab onto. Um, and then the right side, same thing. It's glare ice from about here all the way up to here. It doesn't seem that far. And you can climb up using the trees to about this point. And then you're kind of screwed. So um, once we go back to that map, I'll show you the route that we took because I did have it all marked out. So when we get back there, it'll show all the blue markers. But yeah, I was... Uh, quite an interesting one. Let's see, can I sneak through there? I think so. I don't know about this. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, let's go this way. Now turn hard left. I'm going to try to turn slightly here, get off the ridge just a bit. There we go. Okay, now we're off the ridge. Good. Good, good, good. 
This part is crazy tough, yeah. That part was very, very hard without chain tires. Oof. Chat Daddy is back again because the Wi-Fi went out. Man, you got some terrible internet, dude. Worse than mine. You got hurt, but other than that, you're good. Uh, Eagle, are you behind on your stream or are you caught up? Seems like you might be replying to some stuff I said a while ago. I think you may be behind. All right, well, yeah, now I guess we're sort of good. The best truck in the game is the truck we are currently using, the Zix 605R. It's a truck you actually unlock in this region. But yeah, it's definitely, in my opinion, the best truck in the game, not even close. There's a couple other ones that are, like, next tier, but this one is by far, at least in my opinion, the best truck. I think if you were to ask most people, they would also say the Mastodon, the Kenworth 963, and the Femme would be up there, but... Um, yeah, in my opinion, this one is easily number one. The rest of them are fighting for 2, 3, 4. That's just my opinion, though. And Ken? Yep, Kenny's good. Kenny's... Kenny's up there. It is tough with shin... shin tire? Um... Imagine... oh... Chained tires, gotcha. Yeah, it's tough with chains. You can imagine what it would be without them, yeah. Very tough. 605 R is in a whole other class. I agree, Pablo. Like the other ones are good, but this one is just—it's—it's it's that next level. You know, it's—it's it's got some separation between number one, number two. I would say two, three, and four are close, but. Ken is two, man. Oh, you're saying Kenworth's number two easily? I don't know, I think Kenworth and Mastodon are pretty close. I would say Fem. Fem is probably fourth. It's really strong, but... I don't know, I'd say it's probably fourth. I would say it's between the Kenworth and Mastodon. Actually, here, let's take a poll in the chat. Alright, guys. We'll just... Theoretical, let's just say everyone can agree. I know it's not going to happen, but let's just say the Zix is not included, alright? What would be the... Or maybe we'll just rule out all the other trucks. Your only options are uh, Kenworth 963, um, Mastodon, the 612H, and the Fem. Which what are the what's the best one of those three? So those are your only three options. What are you choosing? What about the step pike? I would say the pike is quite a bit down the list in that one, Bryce. It's a good truck, but it's I would say it's nowhere near the best truck. Yeah, you're, you're good. I got you, Wild Fox. I understood it. It took me a second, but I got it. Bryce says 612H. Alfredo says Ken. Okay, Mr. Or Captain Morgan, sorry. Captain Morgan says Ken. Pablo says, Pablo, he says 605 can't be included. It's got to be the 612, the Fem, or the Kenworth. Which which one are you picking? Of those three, which one would you say is the number one? So we got two for Mastodon, two for Kenworth, one for Fem. Yeah, 
Is, is anyone else going to throw in theirs? Uh, hey, JJ, you were talking about challenges at the beginning of the stream. What about a five truck, one truck per class? That would be a good one. That would be that would be pretty tough because you'd only have five total vehicles. Like you'd say Mastodon, then Kenny. Okay. Bryce says six oh five again. Kenny is not a paid DLC. Oh, because it's not paid. Okay, that's 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 a good point actually, there, Spoon. Because everybody can get the Kenny if they have the season, but Mastodon is like a separate paid truck. Although that doesn't make it better, but I see your point. Like more people have access to it, so that's that's a good point. Captain Morgan is a cool person. Mastodon is best. Yeah, so to Eagle's point, um, if you were to do one one of each uh, class, would you then have multiple of each truck? Like, would you say you have you can have you can only have one scout, but you can have ten of that scout. Like, you can have ten. You know, not ten's excessive, but like, let's say you wanted three six oh five Rs. Like, this was your heavy truck. What if you wanted three of them? You know, because. If you only had five, that would be super tough, because you only have, like for refuel and repair, you don't have your own dedicated trucks for it, or a crane truck, like if you flipped over or something, like, limiting the amount of trucks you can have would, would probably make, excuse me, would probably make the playthrough a lot more difficult. Like my playthrough is pretty hard, especially with the no, the no uh, chain tires. But if you throw in, like, you can only have five total vehicles, oof, man, that would be so tough. Because if you flip one, and then you need repairs in one, or you run out of fuel, or, you know, you name whatever it is, you get stuck, like, that would be so tough. I can only imagine. I was just thinking, I think I was supposed to grab something on my way back. What was I going to do? I don't remember. Actually, I just thought about it. I don't think I flipped... Did I flip any trucks over today, guys? Anybody who's been watching the whole time? Robert? I know you said you were playing, so maybe you didn't watch. Or, you know... Weren't watching, but maybe you could hear. I don't think I flipped over any trucks today. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it. Alright, so here, I will show you guys... The, uh... This is the route we climbed up there, Pavo, without chains. Here it is. Here, I'll rotate the map. This is how it's supposed to be on... You're going to help your uncle? Okay. So yeah, we tried going up here yesterday, around through the trees. We got up to here somewhere, and then we flipped. And then... We got up through here, and we had to... It's, it's pure ice going up to about here, so we weren't able to attach to anything, so I had to start going up this way. And then I flipped. And then... I was... I mean, this wasn't a... This was my third option, obviously. Yeah, so... That is, that is the route we went. We went all the way up to here, and then we had a clearing, so I backed it all the way back down. And then I turned and went through the trees up through here. And up this way. You're probably thinking, why didn't you just go up the big clear part all the way up? Because this rock wouldn't allow me to turn to the left. So. Very, very tough. No, we haven't. And no, you didn't. Thank you, uh, Robert and Alfred. So apparently we're doing good. No flips today. Around the lake and up. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. 
This lake? Or this one? Because, yeah, we, we kind of went around, I guess, towards the lake and then up, yeah. It was not, not very good. And then even here, we couldn't squeeze through this rock. These two rocks, we couldn't make it through that. So we had to go back and then back up here. It was pretty crazy. If you watch the start of the stream, I think we, did, we beat it after like 40-ish minutes or something. I'm not sure exactly how long it took, but the big one, okay. Yeah, if you want to, if you really want to see some good gameplay, I was literally sweating, Babo. Like I had sweat going down from my arm. My hands were on fire. Like, that's how nervous I was about failing that mission, because if I failed, I knew it would mean the end of one of our things, probably. I would either have to recover, because I couldn't couldn't probably get another vehicle up there to fix it. Or buy a new vehicle, if we just left it up there as like a trophy for the map, you know. Or buy chains. I, I figured one of those three has to give if I screw this up, so... I'm glad we were able to get it, that was pretty scary. I mean, a better path might have been going around the lake and then aiming up. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I just... I already had my trucks on the side. That's why I went... I went sideways first. I'll hear a quick pause it again. So like I said, yesterday we tried to go this way and up. And then we tried to go this way and up. So I already had three or four trucks right here. So that's why I just went to the side. I probably could have gone around and down, like you're saying, over to here and then gone up. But... I already had the trucks here, so I kind of just went through the woods. I had to go up because it was too much of an angle to just keep going sideways. So that's why I went up at this part. It was kind of, you can kind of see it sticks out a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's hard to tell on the maps, like, how rough that terrain was. But I would suggest anybody who's interested in, like, checking out that first 45 minutes. That was the most intense snowrunner period I'll probably ever have. Because that could have thrown off, like, basically a year worth of gameplay if we failed at that point. We started last April. I think it was like April 25th or something. Nasty looking spot for sure. It was rough. It was really bad. And like I said, we failed yesterday. We tried to climb the right side. We flipped over. We lost our cargo. Uh, we flipped ourselves back over and picked up the cargo, but we still weren't able to get up that side. I did. I had a period, the roughest period of SnowRunner right there. Crap, I didn't even check the amount. Oh well. I think we're back under 1.3. Yeah. Oh no, we're still above it. We completed a couple missions. But yeah, that's definitely the roughest spot that I've had. If we would have failed, imagine that. We would have wiped out a, a whole year's worth of challenges, basically. Because we haven't recovered yet. We haven't bought a new truck yet. Haven't used chain tires yet. So, I could, like, the, the amount of pressure if we had failed there was pretty high. And, like, we only have one shot. You know, if we flip over, we're probably not getting another truck out there to rec recover that thing. You know how, how many trees and stuff are around? Like, you can't... Probably not go... I mean, maybe you could, but... It would have been a very tough recovery. Uh, the Mastodon is a DLC vehicle, so you might need to buy it. But it is a heavy. It's in the category of heavy. Uh, unlimited changing to what mission... Or wait. Unlimited changing to what the mission needs, like crane or saddle high or metal detector. Or just that sensor. Just one truck per class. Um, so no multi of the same truck. Okay, that would be really tough. But all other resources. Okay. Oh wait, hang on. Just one truck per class. No multi. Oh no, no, no multi of the same one. But you have all other resources. Okay. So you could, you could have one of each truck. Basically, you'd have a total of five trucks. No matter how you slice it, you get five. That would be a very tough blazer for sure. 
very, very tough. But uh, Pabo, we're planning to launch the rocket tomorrow. As a, as a sort of a victory as we've made it through the worst part of the game. I know we're not done with Amir, but we're done with the hardest parts of Amir, so I'm just going to say, screw it, let's launch the rocket. Privet Artem. So we're going to launch the rocket tomorrow, if anybody's interested in seeing that. I know you were talking about seeing it, Pablo, so just... Well, actually, I shouldn't say tomorrow. I should say next stream, because tomorrow might be an update on Season 13. I don't think we'll be playing it much, but I might... Maybe I'll stream it for a little bit. I don't, I don't think so. I think I'll probably just make an update video and then do that. So I think tomorrow we'll be hard mode uh, launching the rocket here in Amir, but I'm not 100%. Your game glitched, you have to start over? Ouch. That hurts. You can't, you don't have the save file anywhere? Oh, you won't be able to make it, Artem. Bummer. Well, you can always watch it later, I guess, right? That's the nice thing about YouTube, is the streams are up after that. I'm assuming it'll be like a half hour, hour in, maybe even longer. Because we'll have to run and get slabs, which those are in a pretty rough spot. There's a really, really muddy and icy area over there. We have to get the slabs way over there and then bring those all the way back. After that, we have the bricks, we have the trailer, and we already brought the rockets. We've done everything else that we need to do, just the slabs. 39 watching, 49 likes. Thank you for that, Robert. Depends on how bad Montreal traffic is. But yeah, I think it'll probably take us like 45-ish minutes before we're able to launch it. That's my guess. I think we'll have to go out, drive a truck all the way out to get the, the slabs and then drive it all the way back. I'm assuming it'll take like 20 minutes-ish each way. And then we could launch it, so... If I had to guess, probably roughly like 45 minutes in. We are 57% if uh, you didn't know that yet. You might be able to make it um, if you do it towards the end. I suppose we could. I just wanted to use it for the thumbnail, so I suppose we could do that, Artem. We could we could get the, the slab and then deliver that and then just kind of hold off. All we'd have to do is pull, it, pull the uh, Pull the trailer out from the, the building there. So we could just wait till the end and do it, but we will do it next stream for sure. I keep thinking I should go out that way and get that... that uh, last trailer and truck as well. Sun is setting another day. You know, it'd be kind of cool if they had a, a tracker for how many days you've spent in, uh, how many days you've spent in SnowRunner. Like, 
you know, I said it's been a year about since we started this hard mode series. Like, what if... What if it said, like, oh, you've been playing for, you know, 78 days and nights or whatever, you know, whatever X amount. Like, that'd be kind of cool to see. Because you can't skip time in hard mode, so it'd be kind of fun. I'm not liking how this is going here. There we go. 50 likes, 41 viewers. Thank you, Brandon. We hit the 50 like mark, that's good. And we are back. Well, sort of. So yeah, these are the two bricks we need. We got two vehicles here. We could bring one of them in there. We got the trailer right there that we need. So all we need is that slab. I think it's one slab. Actually, let me check. How many slabs do we need for that? Yeah, one slab. We gotta get one slab from way over here, this warehouse. And this, this path stinks. And this path stinks. So... Won't be terrible, but no. I mean, I mean, I mean days like in-game days, Fox. I wanted to be able to say like, oh, you've been playing for 72 in-game days. You know, like you've seen 72 day-night cycles because you can't skip time here. So. Skipping time in Star Hunter is boring. Yeah, I don't mind it. I just, for content reasons, it's kind of nice to not have the night because it makes it really dark and it's hard to see. There we go. Everyone giving Fox some love. Brandon and Artem. Yeah, how much, how nice would it be if you could have a short log trailer, guys? Imagine that. We drove all the way out there for one set of logs because we can't even hold a trailer. Kind of stinks. I really hope they add one in Season 14. Season 14 is Reap and Sow. It looks like it's dealing with logging. If they added a short log trailer in there, I'd be so happy. That'd be so nice. What is up, Fox? Yeah, because I know you can check your actual time played on the game in both Epic and Steam and Probably really everywhere, but it'd be cool if it showed you, like, how many days you've seen, like, in-game. You wish SnowRunner would put short log trailers? I hope so. I'm hoping. Probably not, but it would be very nice. Because you have long log trailers, you have medium logs, but you don't have any shorts. All right, there's one. You know what? I think what I might do, guys, is actually I'm gonna take this taiga. Oh wait, this one can't have short logs. Dang it. I don't think it can. I think the taiga can't have short logs. I'll probably have to check after the stream tonight, but if I can put short logs on the taiga, I could take both of them there. And then, um, 
was I going to say? Put, bring both of them there to get short logs and bring both of them back and that would finish this mission off. That would be nice. But yeah, I think I'm just going to refuel here. And I'm not sure what I'll do with the Taiga. That's why you use trailer mods. I think I'll leave that there, actually. Just in case I do uh, take the large pipe. We need a large pipe. Oh, I could... Uh, yeah, I need a large pipe. I'm just going to head over here and grab some fuel, but... Uh yeah, I think I'm gonna check after the stream to see if I can if I can use that taiga for short logs. If I can, I think we're gonna do that. If I can't, I think I'm gonna run the step up here. Actually, hang on a second. Let's do this. Jump to the garage. Go to the truck store. The wait, I passed it already. Here it goes. Oh wait, no, not step. Taiga. Here it is. Uh, preview add-ons oh it does have short nice let's go do that so yeah we're gonna drop this trailer we'll pick it back up later I don't know if I can find a good spot to drop it but maybe right here looks fairly flat let's try that Ooh, I thought I was gonna tip over. All right, we'll leave it there. We're gonna go. We're gonna put long or uh, short logs on this truck, and then we'll go there again tomorrow at the, you know, probably the start of the stream tomorrow. We'll go and get two short logs. We'll finish off this one for the farm. probably refuel this truck because this one's probably getting low now. I think we had like 300 last time, but we should be able to fill all this. Fill it up with both of these. Alright, let's do from the fuel carrier to the Zix and then to the Taiga. And then, oh, I only have eight fuel in there. Okay, we're going to need the rest of that. Uh, there we go. 60 into the eight. There we go. So yeah, that one's going to have to run back and grab some fuel. But yeah, that's the plan, guys. Get some... Two sets of short logs. Get some fuel. Oh, jeez, that thing's riding up onto there. And what was the last one? Oh, the, the slab. So we'll do the slab, the rockets... The, the uh, short logs and fuel. That's kind of uh, the game plan for, t for the next episode. Super dark. Can't really see much. Actually, I just realized, why am I bringing this Zix back here further? I don't need to bring this back any further. I got the fuel I came for. No, I don't want that. I guess what I can do is bring... Bring that trailer back, now that I have it. I'm trying to move my trailers further away from this garage now that we're... We're not done with it, but we're sort of going to move on to the next one here pretty soon. So we're trying to sort of get ahead of what we got to move out. Let's do... Uh, where was it? Short logs. Wait, I have to buy another one? Ouch, I don't have a second one. Alright, it's fine. I think the rest of it's good. Chat Daddy's back again. Yeah, you like the music on this map? It's pretty, uh, like, 
quiet and kind of soothing, but at the same time, it's like the most brutal hard region. It like lulls you to sleep and then hits you with a big rock. Like you'll be, you'll be driving fine and kind of, oh yes, whatever, and then bam, just like that. Except you actually take a bunch of damage. You tried pranking your mom, it did not work out well. Why is that, Artem? What's up, all of the chat? Uh, good question, I don't know. What's up? Oh, hang on, actually... I don't think I really need this trailer because actually there's another one that I could use. Oh, I can't attach a trailer with this one? Yikes. I guess that works out, actually, because I can't attach this trailer anyways back here. This long log trailer? Oh, you got in trouble? Welcome back, Alfredo. See, I probably don't really need this trailer, but we're going that way anyway, so I probably will just bring it. That can stay. So yeah, this truck... I need this long log trailer. Actually, I probably should check. Yeah, I know. Actually, no, I know for sure I do. I remember doing logs. Oh, no, no. Ah, oh, dang it. Not having this thing attached is going to be a pain in the butt. I can tell that much. is up. Uh, we're just bringing some long log trucks, so or long log trailer short log trucks. Um, going to get some short logs from the other map, come back. I don't think I'll actually drive too far. I think I'm going to stop probably where this fuel actually is at. And then refuel both of these trucks. So I'll probably run that to the other map quick and refuel it. Starting to tip. I think I had that a little bit too close. I need to turn my music back on in SnowRunner. Noise. So, yeah, I think we'll probably park right about here. Actually, I gotta go a little bit further forward for the Zix to fit in here. Uh, let's go. Let's go a little bit further, just a little bit, and then we'll kind of park. Let the Zix come up. Then we'll go get some fuel. So yeah, we'll pull off to the left-hand side. Should be plenty of room there. Thinking, should I winch that behind me or not? Probably should. I, don't know, I might just bring that to the garage and leave it. I don't know if I need it really at this point. It was useful on the first map, but I think we probably used it as much as we probably will. You remember launching the rocket? Yeah, we're gonna do it tomorrow, Artem. I could probably do it, I could probably save it for the end of the stream, but for sure we're gonna do it tomorrow at some point. 
I'll probably do it at like 4.30ish my time, so like 2.30 your time. After you launch that rocket, will you be 100%? No, not even close, Artem. We are... We're at 57 right now. So we have a ton still left to do. We still got four watchtowers, two upgrades, and what is that? Uh, 46 tasks. Or tasks, contracts, and uh, contests. So yeah, long way. All right, now we got a little space here. We'll park like that. That should be enough for the Warthog to get in there and fuel them. But we gotta go back and pick up some fuel, so. Let's run this back to the other map, to the fuel station, which is just up, just across the, uh, just across the gateway. Basically, as soon as you go through the gateway, Good job, chat. 54 likes. Good job. We're getting up there, aren't we? Central time, yes. So right now it's 5.49 p.m. I normally end the stream at like 5, 5.30, but I haven't been told it's time to eat yet, so I don't know. Maybe we're, maybe it's kind of a free-for-all night where it's just eat whatever you want. But yeah, I'll probably launch it around 4.30 just so I can make sure that I get it done. What to confirm the time zone? Yes, central time. Oh, actually I just got a text right now saying it's time to eat. So, alright. I think that is where we're going to end it, guys. So tomorrow, about 4.30, we're going to launch the rocket. If you guys want to come in earlier, we'll be, uh... We'll have to go get the, the slab for it. We'll go get these short logs. We'll... You know, do some other stuff. We're going to keep working, but... Um, yeah, that'll that'll be it for this episode. Tomorrow we'll do, do the launch of the rocket. So, if you're interested, come back tomorrow. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Again, yes, Central Time, 4.30 Central. I start the stream at 1.45 Central. So it'll be about an hour and 20 minutes earlier than it is right now. If you were to take off an hour and 20 and then add 24, so one full day, that's when we're going to launch. Alright, everybody, have a good rest of your night or day, depending on where you're from. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Alfred, Eagle, Artem, uh, Wild Fox, Spoon. Uh, I know Papa was here. Zing was here. Who am I missing? I know there's quite a few others. Um, Chan was here. Chan, thank you for the donation. Chan gave us a $10 donation. Thank you, Chan. Uh, Morgan, Captain Morgan was here. Thank you. And uh, anybody else that I missed or anybody who watches this after the fact, appreciate it and have a good rest of your night.